this podcast. Them boys in here, G in here, Skeet in here. Y'all speak to the people. G Let's down crack. in the building. Let's get it, man. You Episode 50? 50. 50 piece. Nifty 50. 50. Uh, Nifty 50. You listening right now on Apple uh, Podcast or Spotify, you know what I'm saying? Go to YouTube. Subscribe, man. Check us out. You'll love the way this shit looks. If you are watching right now on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I know you're in the gym. I know you drive them trucks. I know you mm-hmm. working a job. I know you got them earbuds <laughs> in. Go to Apple Podcast. If you got an iPhone, go to Spotify. If you got an mm-hmm. Android or whatever the fuck, we don't do Androids over here. We all iPhone people. Thanks. But hey, if you do have an Android, Subscribe to our, you know what I'm saying? Our audio. And just upgrade. And just upgrade. Listen to this shit, man. Check us out, man. How y'all guys week been, man? You know I got to ask y'all that, man, because we back for episode 50, man. How y'all feeling? Had a good weekend, man. Good weekend, man. Chilled out. Ate good. Smoked good. Skate. I'm good. Shit. Cool as the hell. Shit. One but Halloween weekend. Yeah, kids out here trick-or-treating, yeah, man. Yeah, a lot uh, of that. It's not a good week. We have to speak on the elephant in the room. Yeah. Um, RP takeoff from the Migos. RP takeoff, man. Um, recently was shot and killed in Houston um, mm-hmm. at a private party. Um, I think Jay Princeton party right. or something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Um Sad situation, man. I'll let y'all say what y'all have to say about that situation when it comes to takeoff, man. Um, I think I got an issue with it, though. I just, it don't seem like... I just felt like security should have been better. And if it's a private party, how does this happen at a private party? It ain't like he was just shooting dice with random niggas and then. I mean, I don't, I don't get that. And according to the story, I believe... Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but it, in what I read, they said actually one of his own security people accidentally shot him trying to get at somebody else. So I don't know if if somebody else, technic, I mean, I don't know if somebody else technically shot him, but they say the first shot came from his own people. But they say he made a mistake. You know, that's what it say. I, allegedly, I don't know. But I mean, shit, man. I don't know, man. It, it's just weird to me. What well, shit? I heard the dice shoot thing, like you yeah. heard too. But then I heard some audio or some shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga argued over basketball. Okay, either yeah. way it go, that man should not have lost his life. That shit stupid, fucked up, man. I, I'm gonna be real, with you. like nigga, like do y'all realize we ain't got nobody to listen to no more now in Atlanta. Like we already had nobody to listen to. Yeah, but y'all killing the niggas that actually like. The Migos are legends. Let, like, let, let's just keep it real. Those uh-huh. that's a yeah. legendary group. Mm-hmm. They done did some shit. Motherfuckers ain't never did. Especially Facts. from him. Like, nigga, I, I'm starting to feel like, do black lives really matter? Cause it seems like, nigga, okay, h- how do you go make all these millions of dollars and then this type of shit happen? But you still doing nigga shit. I'm not not even nigga shit. Mm. Broke nigga shit. I'm gonna be Ooh, real. Y'all on another, y'all in another tax bracket. If you were shooting dice, get what? For what, bro? Mm-hmm. You're rich. What what more can you win? Mm-hmm. Like my, it don't my, even matter to do my, that. Like I, I'm for you talk. Like my only concern is, is is who he was shooting dice with. Well, no, everybody in there was supposed to be cool. It right. wasn't no, no I mean, cause, cause we, listen, on. we all know in the industry or just in any entertainment, right. celebrities with a lot of money, bro. Niggas do shit. Betting against each other because they got the money to do it. We talking about, we ain't not talking about a couple, we talking about thousand dollar dice games, betting on NBA games, nigga be shooting shots for money. Niggas been doing that shit, but my thing is, who is he doing it with? But that's, but that's the thing. Yeah. It was a private party. You know what I'm saying? He's right, everybody, saying. So everybody yeah, he, in there was cool. Supposed right. to be. It, it wasn't nobody yeah. they knew, that didn't know nobody. Yeah, they, they knew before they went, everybody on the list was going to be there. Right. Because it's a private party. So my whole that's why I don't understand. Like, how does how does something like that happen at a private party? Cause niggas ain't shit. That's Look, bad. niggas don't nig, man. Yeah, yeah what? You you, don't, you shit. First of all, let that be real, bro. See, we, 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 I'm not a Charleston White supporter. Let me just start. Well, off you know, I don't like that motherfucker. I am not a Charleston said, White supporter. I said it again, yeah. But goddamn, sometimes we just gotta just be real about this shit, mm-hmm. nigga. You, you got too much money to be in that atmosphere anyway. Anything you want to do, you should be able to bring it to you. If you're mm-hmm. hanging with certain niggas and it's supposed to be all G, then nigga, you need to be able to check your soldiers around you too. Mm-hmm. I should if I, if I'm Quavo, I don't nigga want to put this shit all on Quavo. But guess what? That man lost his nephew, bro. Right. He should have never been arguing with an underling, no way. 
Yeah. I don't know who Bird was. I'm not saying I'm not talking not down to you, but you're not Quavo, nigga. We right. don't even know who you are. So mm-hmm. therefore, Jay Prince should not even let you be in the club afraid that long to be able to talk no shit like that. Yeah. Whatever was said or whatever was there, y'all shouldn't have been. It, get what? If it was over money, then y'all should be able to squash that kind. It, it's nothing but rich niggas in the room. Mm-hmm. If it's over with basketball, from what I, I heard verbally, ba- and y'all niggas now. really weak as hell because y'all just took the best Migo over mm-hmm. some fucking bullshit. Yeah. The nigga that don't have no pressure with nobody. I think, I think, yeah. and I think it's disrespectful to the people who leaking the video showing that man just land. Oh, like yeah, that's that, bro. That's disrespectful I, as fuck. Now, what I didn't like about that video that was leaked, that, that, that disrespecting this man uh, laying there on the ground, did y'all notice? Um, it seemed like. Some of the people that was there, I don't really want to call out no names, but I'm pretty sure y'all seen to it. They walking away from him. The only nigga I seen running over there was Quavo. Nah, I see. I you, you, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about though, right? Yeah, but see, that's the thing. Like if they recording anyway, they better be walking away. I'm gonna tell right. you why, bro. Okay. Don't don't pull out no goddamn phone if I'm a, I done got shot. Like, right. They said no. Like that. That's the problem. Motherfucker care more about getting their likes and they got them Twitter followers than actually caring about a motherfucker getting shot, bro. Yeah. If I get shot, then not nobody got down be recording. Like I better not live and see it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Care for me. Make sure I live. Hey, you know that shit saying? to Nipsey too, though. Uh, what you talking about when Nipsey got shot? Yeah, well, yeah that somebody was, recording him laying on the. Nah, on that the, was security oh. camera. Oh, okay. That yo, they, 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 that's right. That's right. You're yeah, right, that was security right. camera. Yeah. Now, but somebody it, was literally just. No, like, a lot I, of people in there recording. Yeah. Before the game was shooting and stuff like that. Right. But my whole thing, look, I'm just look. Y'all done said. You know what I'm saying? All the shit that really needs to be put out. I'm just gonna get take off his flowers, bro. Yeah. Cause one thing we said him bad me. I mean on bad speakers. I said to say bad me go. But right. on bad yeah. speakers, mm-hmm. long time ago. He's the best lyrical Migo out of the whole group, period. Mm-hmm. He's the best rapper as far as putting words together mm-hmm. out of the whole group. Uh, and he was the coolest nigga as far as he didn't speak much. Mm-hmm. He kept to himself. You didn't hear him in no bullshit. He wasn't trying to date no fucking um, uh, industry, YouTube bitches and, yeah. and Instagram models and shit. He yeah. wasn't even known that shit. Yeah. Bro was 28 with no fucking kids as far as I know. Right. And lost his life before he turned fucking 30. That's, That's fucking sad. That's I'm going to remember him by one statement. Nigga, I'd rather be rich than famous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 real fact, shit, bro. real fact, shit. Bro. Long live that boy take off, man. That's Long live, man. Real RP, hey, man. Take off. Off, man. Here in Atlanta. And I just feel like that situation, as, as developments come on about that situation, we'll speak on it more. Mm-hmm. But from what I can tell, they was arguing <laughs> about a fucking basketball game. From but, what I see. Let me ask you a question, cuz. Do you think Atlanta need a no fly zone? Bro, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, we go out, Eric. We gotta check in. I think Atlanta too friendly. And we get knocked off. There's so many niggas live who away from Atlanta, me. And I, I don't condone violence. I'm a regular motherfucking nigga. Oh, no, I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying, if we ain't getting love when we go places, oh, why the fuck we showing love when these motherfuckers come here? You wanna know why? Because, to be honest with you, niggas in Atlanta too busy killing each other. Well, no, I don't hey, know about that. I can't say that. No, 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 no. Musically, musically, from a hip hop standpoint, we stick together. Like we don't mind doing songs together. Niggas really support each other in hip hop in the city of Atlanta. But bro, crime is a motherfucker here. A crime is a motherfucker everywhere. No, nah, but I'm, but I'm, I'm just saying. Well, I will say that. Like you'll never really hear about an artist coming to Atlanta and getting killed. Only oh, one thing I, I know that came not from, like that. Bro, yeah. other, than, other than King, King Von, yeah, you can't yeah. name with that one person. And that was also. Shit, he popped off. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So you know, yeah. other than that, you don't hear nobody coming down here, getting checked for their jury or, or we holding it. Not here. even the baby came down here right. and he stood on his ten. Right. Yeah. Nigga didn't really get. But we go somewhere. Mm-hmm. We if we don't get knocked off, our partner getting knocked off or. Mm-hmm. Somebody in the clique getting knocked off. We getting hold. We got to tap it. Cause I feel like niggas say that tap it, check it, shit. They only talking about Atlanta motherfuckers half of the time. Facts. Facts. Yep. Facts. And and man, it's fucked up. And like I said, Atlanta got to start getting more strict when it comes to niggas. Niggas better quit thinking Atlanta is pussy. Mm. Mm-hmm. That that's one of the main problems. We we you know they they always throw that shit out. Oh, it's all these gay folks in Atlanta and stuff. Yeah. Cause that that's what they try to throw throw on us out. Right. Come see about it, nigga. <laughs> That's the problem. Look, look, look. They say that, but but if you look at it, if you look at all the rappers in the industry, shit, they hell, they they dread like Atlanta niggas. What's the difference? But they can't. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I really feel like 
good. Like we just we just the most hated on region in America. Like we done had it for so long. To now yeah, we I go feel, somewhere. Yeah, I, I feel like they trying to like. I agree with you. We getting pressed. I, I feel like we we they trying to like you say pray. They trying to tear us down because you know you got them boys locked up. He got like if you look at all the rappers, just the list. Free Rollo Fam Goon. Go you know what I'm saying? He he coming home soon. Uh, bro, we ain't got nobody left. We really don't. If you just think about it, man, you, uh, you, got, got, you, you got the pioneers. We got 4 PF, we, we got FBG, yeah. and we got Summer 1017 left. Are we going to protect it. all of that, nigga? That's it. Hey, man. One more time. RP Takeoff, man. RB take man, YRN, man, real. Hey, man. That early Migo Condolence shit, man. When them nigga, when them nigga would got down a two man band running the shit, like, man, like, Chinatown, like, like Bando, man. Chinatown, and all that old shit like that, man. Like, come on, man. RP take off, man. We, you know, we ain't gonna go into that. Hey, man, let, let, let's let's talk about some old shit, man. Can you turn a hoe into a housewife? Yes, wanna... you can. Ooh, yes, you can. Why you can't? You can always turn a whore into a housewife, but guess what? First of all, the whore is your fantasy. If she cooking for you, she cleaning for you, she doing all your desires, the only difference is you just ain't gonna make her your woman, but she can be around you. Why, why you can't turn a whore into a housewife? What's the difference? Unless, unless it's a community whore. Okay, I got a question. When you say housewife, do you mean like, I'm marrying her? Yeah. I'm her boy. Oh, no, 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 People I know, like hey, hold listen. around with the people like I fuck. With. Like if you, like if you hold around my circle, <laughs> or hold around my, uh, what would you call it? Got that? Like I don't hang your with associates. These, my my peers. No, I'm saying yeah. peers. Like motherfucker. Like in my like, like you know how everybody grows up with peers. Like we all grew up with like a certain like this our yeah, class yeah, or whatever. Yeah. If you if you holding around my crowd, right? Then I don't think I can do that because my my mental won't let me do it. It won't let me trust you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm asking on a deeper level. And I, like, and I, and like, I can you tell me? No, I'm her? saying, I, I, I'm telling you, like, on that level. Now, say, like, my wife younger than me. I don't give a damn who you done fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't hang with none of these niggas no way. They young niggas. I'm going to tell you something funny about what you just said. Mm. Niggas got a lot of pride. Uh, when, that's no, what no, I'm no, follow, follow, me, follow, follow, follow me for a minute. Niggas got a lot of pride. Not claiming the hoe, but they ain't got no pride when it comes to fucking that bitch. That's real. Just think mm. about that. Yeah, that, that, that is. Think real. about that. You got you got so much pride, you won't you don't want to claim the hoe, but you ain't got no pride to let the motherfucker come over and bang her every other fucking night. So really, it just it's just a matter of what you what you willing to deal with. Can you put your pride aside? But hey. I, I absolutely, I I I. I I, to a degree, I believe you can turn a hoe into a housewife. Now, that, 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 now just because you turn into a housewife, that don't mean she still ain't that, fucking. <laughs> see, that's why I was you about to saying? go with it. Right? That there. don't mean she still ain't fucking. But she listen. Like, if she's fulfilling her duties, she's with you. Whether you wrong, whether you right, she cooks, she clean. Like I said, yeah, you can turn a hoe okay. into a housewife. I I will say this. I I can fuck with you, right? As long as you ain't fucked in my crowd, but. Mm -hmm. Then it comes to the point of, do you actually want to be a goddamn housewife? Because your mind got to be only be that too now. I can say you, you whatever to me, mm -hmm. but what are you saying, thinking you are to me? You know what I'm saying? So it, it, I, can, I can say you my housewife, but I don't know what you thinking. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to hear what, what, what Sean got to say, man. But first of all, a <laughs> being a woman who's a hoe is perception. Okay. On your end and her end. Thanks. If you, if I say a bitch is a hoe, that don't yeah. mean that you believe she a hoe. Right. And third thing is a hoe damn sure don't believe she a hoe. Right. Most women don't know they hoes. Right. Most women out here do not know they hoes. They've been done fuck 30 niggas and you can't tell them that they ain't no hoe. So, but guess what? It's about the perception of what you believe a hoe mm -hmm. is. Right. So, can you turn a hoe to a housewife? You know what I'm saying? I believe you can. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what is your perception of a hoe? Now, in your, let's just say in your mind, you believe this bitch been fucking like hell? Mm -hmm. No, you can't. 
Right. And you ain't gonna. You will never anyway. know anyway. What? Exactly. No, 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 no you will that. know. You will know. Well, I, mean, talk... I mean, I mean, you know how she get down, but don't nobody know nobody. Body. Bro, if that bitch suck. Your, if that bitch, you bro, you can find it out, bro. If that bitch hey, sucked your dick too good before she got to you, you already thinking in your head. But she done did somebody like that. She done, you done did somebody like that. You ain't just goddamn. You ain't just. Ain't nobody gonna take your soul, and you ain't gonna want to figure out. This can't be the first time. She <laughs> yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, bro. But it's about your perception. Yeah. Like, if do you think she is a hoe? Do she thinks she's a hoe? And do she know she a hoe? I'll well, okay, tell you something what? even better. Okay, go ahead. But then, if you wasn't her first, nine times out of ten, if you fall in love with that pussy, you fall in love with some with some hoe tendencies that she had. That she had. Yeah. So every bitch is a hoe. Cause guess what you are? A, hoe. a slut. Ooh, good I'm point too. Think about it, you like to do the nastiest shit. I, I, I will give y'all the story. That's real shit, though. That's real shit, though. Okay, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, like, we drinking liquor right now. Right. But I found my, my drink of choice. It's a right. $6 wine. It's called Taylor Pork. <laughs> it's called what? Taylor Pork. <laughs> Taylor <And> Pork. <laughs> when I say I brought that hammer, yeah. <laughs> I'm nasty. Cool, I'm nasty, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nasty. I'm nasty, cool. I ain't right. Man. You only as freaky as your woman. Yeah, true. So if, if I think, if I, the shit I think about doing, and we together, yeah. Well, the old, the old saying, the old I saying. I can't judge listen, you, because I have to judge myself. Yeah. That's true. The That's old true. saying, it take one to know one. So if you dealing with something that you know of something, you the same motherfucker too. That's true. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's true. So love today on them motherfuckers. Yeah, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it just depends on your perception of your old lady, mm -hmm. and it depends on your, your own, her, on whether or not her perception of herself is just what she, bro, how many girls have you ever met that literally told you, yeah, I was wild back in the day. It ain't too many. You done met mm -hmm. some who probably done said it in it that way. Like, mm -hmm. I, in college, I was doing my thing. now, But she didn't just say I was a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it ain't no girl that's going to sit up and tell you, yeah, I was a hoe. I was just out here. Yeah. Maybe one or two. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say you that. Got, you got no more numbers that be like, it's a number. Oh, well, I used yeah. to be on some hoe ass shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's a number. But I'm saying, you. most women don't know their perception of themselves. They right. don't. They no, don't no, know no, that no, they no, was no, fucking right no. here. They know they they know they hold. They do not. But let me tell you what it is. But they ain't gonna give you the, the the satisfaction of being right. That and two, I, I believe that. But and two, because they see you as potential too. If she knows that you somebody, she will talk. To, oh yeah, she gonna. She finna up and tell you, yeah, I was fucking like hell, okay, and she finna no, no, fuck she up the bag no. away from you. But it's but guess what, lady? Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> it ain't nothing you gonna do that your man ain't gonna find a cock. Get what? If your pussy is good as you think it is, and as good as he probably think it is, it's a nigga that mad that he can't hit it no more because you fucking with that nigga. So somehow he gonna try to get it out that he used to fuck on you. Let me tell you. So something. you yeah. should come out better just telling your nigga what really going on Boy. or what done went on. If you know he gonna be in the same circle around this person, I okay? agree with that. it's gonna yeah. come to him. And when it come to him, you don't know how your nigga might take it. Your nigga might be on some. Oh, I ain't standing you with me, or he might be like. Oh hey, that whole fucking that nigga. What shit? Yeah, I'm finna fuck whoop the whoop. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I agree. Like, like to me, I, I think it, to me, I think every man has a fantasy. So if your fantasy just so happened to be a hoe, niggas gonna still fuck. Niggas gonna still keep. But keep every nigga wants a hoe. Like, though. Like, you know, what every saying? nigga like, wants a hoe in the bed. Yeah. Uh, a classic lady in the street, but you can't get that. So yeah. you're gonna either get some great sex. Mm -hmm. And you can mold that bitch into what you want, yeah. or you're gonna get a classy bitch that you're gonna have to try to make teach how to fuck. I, I believe what you're just saying that shit don't matter to him. Facts. I believe mean, you're just saying that, bro. You, it you don't. don't. We don't really give a damn. It don't. Like, like, is this bitch mature enough to be in a fucking relationship? That's mm -hmm. what you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it too, like you say, your old lady younger than you, or whatever. My old lady younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, I'm not worrying about who she fucked when she was damn 18. Hell no. I ain't gonna run into this nigga. Yeah. And if she and if she run into this nigga and I'm with her, she better not make me goddamn do no funny shit like, oh yeah, this is Mark from back in the day. I'm gonna <laughs> ask right there in front of Mark. Yeah. Did you fuck Mark? <laughs> No, I'm being real. Like you heard Drake, nigga. You, you heard Drake talking about like like you hug me. You hug me like. Wait, 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 wait. Now listen, look. Oh, we, females be doing that shit. But you were like, if if your girl actually introduced you to a nigga, you would just literally ask the nigga, "Did y'all fuck?" Yeah. If 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 if, if, if I get the vibe that she's yeah. telling me that shit in a way like that like, somebody used to deal with. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it's like it's like it's like what your like. Even if somebody you dealing with, why are you trying to introduce I'm me to him? Ask him. Yeah. Bro. First I'm of all, asking. you I ain't got to ask. I'm gonna be able to tell by the introduction. I'm gonna be able to tell by the way he look at the butt. Yeah, like, bro, yeah. I wanna know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Cause yeah. nigga, gonna, let me tell you something. If I know I don't fuck your bitch, yeah. And but I know you don't know I don't fuck yeah. your bitch. 
I'm like, I'm gonna be able to tell Kai the nigga if, if a nigga too cool with you yeah. when he oh yeah. shit when he first meet you yeah then get what he don't know yeah. Cause ain't no nigga you that know I if I know you don't fuck my bitch I'm not trying to be cool with you I'm not trying to talk to you facts like if, even if we look at the industry bro we can go on a deeper level you don't think Kanye knew Kim Kim K was a whore like, he knew that I mean, shit no, he but guess what though if that whore is fulfilling his fantasies doing but everything that he actually, need guess what and it's like well she used to be yours but now she mine but, but that, that, I'm gonna tell you the difference between yeah. that okay Did he, Kanye he, get he, bitches before huh? huh Kanye wasn't getting bitches before Kim yeah. and. Yeah. What the name? Um, but it, but, 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 but uh, it don't, but it don't matter. Nigga, listen, Rowe, nigga, but listen, no, nigga still got morals and pride though, at the end of the day. Even if you, ain't but that's what he's get, saying. Yeah. He wasn't getting bitches before. And two, the other, yeah. the other point is, is that he, this shit is public mm -hmm. knowledge. Your bitch may have been fucked before she met you. Some more nigga that you never run into. Like I just said a minute ago. But see, that's my whole. I, point. I never run into if, if the world don't know, what do it matter? That's what I just said. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, I'm with Okay, okay. But with Kanye, that's lame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your bitch been fucking in the world, no. Yo, yo, your bitch. Talking about fucking this white dude. All right, bro, we just gonna confess, <laughs> hey, man. Fuck Kanye, bro. Yeah, I, I talk, man. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm to and I'm you, not man. even trying to pile on you, bro. Yeah, cause I know you going through. You losing chonies and everything, but God damn it, I can't worry about your dick, bro. You, you, yeah. you knew what the hell you had. Now, bro. speaking of Kanye, let's go out the door to this. Loses so two, a, 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 you know, allegedly loses mm -hmm. two billion dollars in one fucking day. Let me tell you something that disturbed me. Why are they got a fucking GoFundMe page for Kanye West to make him a billionaire again? Why are we still supporting this fool? Why? Did y'all see that shit? Yeah. Why I, are they doing that? I, like, really, like, damn, bro, this nigga got, like, a cult or some shit. You really got motherfuckers out here starting to go fund. Like, y'all, they could that money could be put towards people who really need help. But y'all really doing a GoFundMe page to make sure this man's still a billionaire. For what? That's crazy as fuck to me. Hey man, I, don't, I don't understand that I shit. I don't put too much stock in America no more. I'm so glad Steven, Steven Jackson stack went in on that nigga. And you know, people on there trying to bash him, talking about he chasing clout. But no, nah, he's speaking real. George Floyd, them, that was his people. I don't yeah, feel was, like he said that, that, that wrong. Huh? That was, that was uh, what the hell, uh, Steve Jackson, Jackson yeah. folk, but... A lot of stuff Steven Jackson be doing, he he do be doing for clout. God. All that I wouldn't the old. He brother, had a good I message check about this. In, yeah. I check in when I go somewhere. Man, nigga, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but now he said some real shit Man, though. Steve Jackson old enough, though. bro. You talking about some going to check in, bro? You too. Why are you checking in? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, you don't need to check in. It, you're not no. <laughs> you're not doing nothing in yeah. none of these areas. Like you should be going to no projects. So if you if you're going to yeah. Chicago, why are you going to the projects? Okay, so you shouldn't have to check in. You should be going to a nice area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, a nice area. area. But you're going to the projects. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, yeah. you got gray in your fucking beard, bro. Yeah. yeah. There's no reason for you. Like, bro, we got to start got them treating train this shit like this shit will be coming. Hey, man, y'all niggas start making these niggas check in when they come over. <laughs> I'm like this, man. Yeah. Look. I, look. I, hmm. Okay, so the $2 billion. Like, mm -hmm. people got to understand evaluations. If y'all thought... Me and you had conversations like mm -hmm. that before. Man, look, y'all niggas stop thinking these niggas got this money in liquid. They don't. Yeah, hell no. Kanye West that shit assets. Have, that shit, shit ain't never assets. Uh, that's what they are. That's why or I was, projected. That projected, shit ain't, that shit ain't never currency in a bank. Just you know numbers. <laughs> like, 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 they don't have that type of money. Those are projections. Two, mm -hmm. uh, I, the two billion in a day, I, I feel like. No, I don't think we should cancel him. Look, I'm back and forth on this shit. Sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like we should. Sometimes I feel like we shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And one thing I will say that I stand on is that he shouldn't be saying kill, nothing about killing Jewish people or killing mm -hmm. anybody. Right. The second thing is black folks got to stop being mad about Jewish people sticking together because the motherfucker, that what we, should, what we should do. Exactly. Like, how we mad at another community for sticking with each other? When we don't stick with e fucking each other, like I said, we got embarrassed when them when them white people went up to the fucking White House and started fucking shit up. They basically showed us when you want to get something done, you do it. Now, oh, granted, no, 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 wait, 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 hold on. I know you about to say the granted. Let that have been some black people. Somebody probably would have got shot. But at oh, the yeah. end of the day, we oh, got no, the, no, we, we, at the end jail, of the day, we still need that, to make that, a everybody ain't getting we still need to make that. a stance, bro. We so much in the competition with each other, we can't even fucking stick together. Long time if everybody want to be the fucking man. Want to have the baddest bitch, the baddest car, the most money, this, that. Instead of just coming together, 
uniting for some shit and really getting in these niggas' ass for real. Because it's enough of us now. No, I'm not. We the no. minority, but if, if we come together, listen, man. What is I'm telling the, you. What is 41 million black people going to do with 220 million white people? God, all the time I seen black people stood together with Malcolm X move when he did like that. They <laughs> told him a nigga well, to know, move Mal- out. Malcolm wanted his own union. Malcolm said, fuck that peace shit. He said, we can have our own community, our own banks. Now, that's what we our, can. See, you know what I'm saying? That's what we can do. But sticking together uh, like on some goddamn we finna rebel shit, no, we can't. We ain't, yeah. ain't enough of us. And and I'm going to be honest with you, it ain't about the rebellion shit because I ain't on that shit. I think all people are equal. It is what it is. The reason Kanye West got counseled because he's talking about killing Jewish people. All that other shit. It well, he good. said slavery was a choice and he didn't get counseled. <sighs> no, I agree with that. He should have got counseled for that shit. The thing is, people feel to, pe- people feel that they can say shit about black people regardless with no consequences and nothing going to happen to you. And then nothing does happen to them. But as soon mm. as you say something about another community, no disrespect for y'all Jewish people, you just heard how I stuck up for you. Everything goes down the drain. This nigga lost his whole fucking life. It should be that way when niggas say shit about black folks. But guess what? Yeah. The black skin is mm-hmm. not as valuable as Jewish fucking skin. Y'all don't want to sit up and say it. I'm going to goddamn say it. Well, that, 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 I, I agree with you. That's why I, that's, I, that's, that's why I wanted to get out of it. That's why I threw that out there. Yeah, that's true. Because that's true. He, he did say slavery was a choice. And nobody and said shit. Like, well, just anything he don't did to the, to the black community, didn't nobody start canceling stuff, like you said, until he started talking about the Jewish media and stuff like that. So... I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's like we want to get mad at what the nigga said, but it got down. Yeah. Everybody, look at Kyrie Irving goofy ass right now. He just posted a link and he got these niggas sitting front row. Hold that. We'll later get to that. On. I'm later just saying, we'll that later hold that for the sports. Yeah. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into like that. We got some shit, yeah. Yeah. Um, but these yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, these niggas crazy, B. But yeah, like, it, my whole thing is, man, nobody should be talking about killing any race, gender, whatever mm-hmm. the fuck. That's that's just my whole thing. Um, off of the backs of that Kanye West shit and him being counseled, make some drop on the Forbes list to five hundred million. I think for the first time, I think Jay Z number one again. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say this shit too. That's karma, my nigga. Mm-hmm. You went around on drink champs talking about you got more money than your friends. That shit came back to bite you on the ass. Mm-hmm. Cause bro, you don't say that shit to niggas that you supposed to be cool with. Then you turn around and say, "Oh, yeah, Jay Z, that's my boss," and this and that. Mm-hmm. But I told him on the group text and this and that. And you said it on your interview too, talking about some, you know, that's God's way of humbling me and all this other shit. Then you go in sketches and shit and try to with some cameras and try to get a deal with sketches. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I don't give a fuck how popular Yeezy is. I ain't wearing shit called Skechers. <laughs> that's just me. That's it. And that's God humbling you. That shit came crashing down on you, bro. Mm-hmm. You, you needed a fucking wake up call, man. Yeah. Burner right now is in the top five, I think. Four mm-hmm. or five. Jay Z, Diddy, Dr. Dre, Kanye West, mm-hmm. and Burner. Top five hip. Who would expect Burner? Burner, nigga. I, I, I told that nigga, man, that nigga low key, but he on his, he been on that shit for a long, long time. I said him let a bitch smoke a blunt out her pussy. What <laughs> no burner sticks? He put one of those little blue burner sticks in her coochie, yeah. and it said, and he, and that bitch hit that thing. I fucks with you, burner. Ever since then, Jay Z remained calm. He didn't trip. Now he's back number one hip hop making in hip hop history, man. One point five billion. Dollars, not even including his wife, mm. who probably worth about eight hundred million or some Thanks. shit like that. Uh, True I, power couple, you know, man. Um, I forgot who else made the list. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I want to say shout out to Burner, man, for getting on that fucking list, cause that's just straight hustle. Mm-hmm. I think they say he started that shit at eighteen. He said, and at twenty five, he was he was what. Um, 25, he was he had the cookies and all that shit, mm-hmm. the clothing line and all that shit. And, and was rapping. And right. was rapping. He got plenty of songs with a lot of niggas. Future, he, Future, ga- Future gave him one of the hardest bars on that, uh, I forgot the name of it. I think it was Gotti or something, mixtape. Mm-hmm. He gave him one of the hardest verses. Man, Future killed that shit. Man, let's move on, man. How about this shit, man? It's taking the girl virginity overrated. I'm gonna let y'all talk first because I got a lot to say about this shit. Or do y'all want me to give it? You yeah, yeah, that shit goddamn overrated. It's actually frustrating. Mm-hmm. Like a seasoned motherfucker. Somebody who know what the fuck they doing. I ain't got time to be motherfucking tussling with you. 
Especially at this motherfucker. Hey, nigga, I'm fucking 30 plus. You feel me? Like, I ain't got time to be tussling. I need some shit. I can just go on up through. We know what we doing. That what the fuck it is, bro. I, listen, that, that virgin shit, listen, man. I, man it used to you. mean something back in the day when we when actually had real kids. dates. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I, said, I, I said back in the day. I said back in the day. You but now that shit don't fucking kid. matter, bro. You talking about a virgin? I ain't even thought about no virgin. I'm, I'm just saying. But, but you, you, but you know, nigga used to be big on that. Like, oh, I'm the only one. Who gives a fuck about being the only one? I could be first. I could be. I could be one of a hundred. If she makes me happy, we're good. I'll, I'll collect them 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 rookie cards. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'll collect them rookie cards. And have to, <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't care no more about them motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. The rookie cards. Yeah, that, that's all. That is them, them first round picks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That virgin yeah. pussy is the most worst pussy in the world. I don't give a damn what y'all say, bro. Thank you. Tell them they're trying to struggle, get your dick in a bitch. Man, like, that's Tell them I said, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait ra raise your leg just a little bit right there. Look, slow down. look hold on, baby. Look, just, just hold it right there. Look, it's, it's almost in. It's almost in. Hold mm -hmm. on, hold on. Bro, that shit is the worst shit sex in the history, bro, of America, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest. That's the one part I feel like the Bible was wrong on, bro. <laughs> like, the fuck. The purity. We, we get, you're supposed to be a virgin before you get married. You're supposed to have sex. Like, yeah. bro, you know how, bro. You, I got to test that pussy out like a car. Yeah. We got to test drive this bitch, see if you got 100,000 miles on this motherfucker. <laughs> we got to put the shocks on this motherfucker. We got to oil that bitch up. You know what I'm saying? The transmission running right. You know what I mean? Get that bitch so, tested to see if any codes pop up on this motherfucker. <laughs> like, do you have HIV, AIDS? So, so, all so, this so, shit. So it's safe to say they all need a diagnostic. But we got to get a diagnostic, <laughs> but that's a good, but we need a diagnostic check. We need all that shit. The brakes Auto's train. On. What? <laughs> like, you got, I got to drive this motherfucker, man. Yeah. I do not want no virgin bitch. No. I, I, the only bragging rights I got, yeah, I'm the first nigga to hit this pussy. Right. Okay, that's okay. cool, but guess what? By the time she get to me, it's going to be some better pussy. Yep. Like, <laughs> nigga, I don't want that shit. Like, okay. what the fuck? But, but I'm like, what about this, though? Yeah. You just basically went against everything that's supposed to be the natural order of the world. Oh. That's true. Let me so say maybe this. that's okay. the reason why the the, er, the reason why we're going the way we're going because we don't want to wait till marriage. We want everything right now. I want to fuck that bitch right now. Hey man, I want my money right now. I want to. I want to do everything true? right now. Skip. I don't want to go and now. Now let me long say, haul. Let, 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 let me again. say. Let, hold on, let yeah. me say this real quick. Now that's true because it's the thing. You can't miss nothing that you ain't never had. Mm, very so true, if everybody very true. was living yeah. that way, you wouldn't know what good pussy is or bad pussy is to begin with. Or you, she wouldn't know what big good, dick big is or, or bad or dick is to begin with because you're the only one she done had. Bro, like anyway. smoking cigarettes for 30 years and trying to go cold turkey all of a sudden. That shit hard, bro. That shit hard. Huh. But see, now that, I agree with that. That's true. But I'm saying is, I'm just going by the world we live in. Though. Yeah. I, well, I, look, in the world we live in, we do everything the wrong way, but what the best outcome? Like we ain't put, think about this. Yeah, we kill to eat, but in the Bible we say we ain't supposed to kill shit that bleed. Well, I'm supposed to love all creatures. I'm with you. I'm in the lines, then, nigga. I'm like, like animals. Like, I ain't never seen no animal get married to have sex. Get 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 mm. what? In Genesis they say you supposed to pick fruit, nigga. And that's what you're supposed to eat. But but which way are you going with that though? I'm gonna tell you what yeah. I'm going with. Okay. I'm saying like, nigga, I took a step back and realized, bro, everything I like breaks the fucking rules. Mm -hmm. The natural order, of, the, the supposed natural order of things. I don't believe so, in well, do you order. you do know you do know the devil got power just like God. Yeah, but but that's what I'm trying to tell Wait you. Wait a minute, hold on. Maybe we're in that hour. Uh, but let me tell you something. I don't believe yeah. that's the natural order of things. What you mean by that when you say I don't believe none of that shit natural order of things. Now, we're going to a different conversation, but we're yeah. going to go there. Okay. Because we're just going. I don't believe that's the natural order of things. I believe the Bible is shit that they want us to do that was created by man. Mm -hmm. Or what they say is a book by God or yeah. whatever. I'm not going to go into all of that. Mm -hmm. But there's no one in hell. We're, technically, humans are animals. Animals kill other animals to fucking survive. Mm hmm so you telling me humans ain't supposed to do that? Animals have but guess what? That's what the yeah. Bible wants us to think. Mm -hmm. Also, also, they say the, fle the, the, the flesh is weak. You know what I'm saying? They say we're supposed to get married and all this other shit. Bro, that's a ceremony. That's cultural. Mm -hmm. That's cultural. Just like going to church. You don't have to go to church to get to know your God. Now, it does say that. Don't, don't find God in a man-made temple anyway. 
So mm-hmm. you don't have yeah. I mean that that's anyway. That the Bible say that. Now but I will say this. I, I do believe some people go to church to get a better understanding and fellowshipping with other people. Like if you don't have a full understanding of something, then you may have to link up fellowship, like almost like a, a business I ain't gonna say a business meeting, but a meeting to talk about your faith. But like I said, for people who do have strong faith. They don't have to be uh, in the church, man, to get to know their God. You, you, you can get, we can get to know our God right here on Bad Speakers. Yeah, okay. you feel I, me? I say that all the time. Like, I ain't need church for some of the shit I know. Yeah. But I, I just threw that out there just for mm-hmm. the point of just saying, like, don't think we are thinking like, oh, we're better than somebody or we know yeah. more. Oh, than okay, no, no, yeah. no. I, I know. I indulge yeah. in a lot of shit that's unsavory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, what I'm saying is I still have a good heart and I, everybody right here got a good heart. We yeah. still won't. The best you know what I'm saying? Shit. What's best for people? So don't think like, oh, we just be sitting up here talking shit and we, we, nah. Yeah. When I say fuck somebody, like I, I mean it with all due respect. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. But speaking of this, before you go into something else, mm-hmm. let's just say since since we own men and women in relationships a little bit right now, is it necessary to stay with the woman that you with? And this goes both ways, whether. The woman want to stay with the man or whether the man stay. Is it necessary to have a healthy relationship to stay with somebody? Can you have a successful relationship just living on your own? Because let's be real. Regardless how much you love somebody, everybody still need their own space. So I'm going to let, I just want to get y'all take on that. You know what I'm saying? Is it necessary to have to live with your, with a, with a significant other? Or can you have a, rela- a successful relationship without living with somebody? I think you can have a successful relationship mm-hmm. without living with somebody. You don't have to live with them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all might have two different types of schedules, mm-hmm. shit like that. But then again, yeah. certain people, they might have to live with each other because mm-hmm. just of the shit that's going Like, one of you might be just out there. Going, like, I'm going to say for yeah. me. I'm going to say for me. Okay. If I'm talking to you and we're not living together, mm-hmm. nine times out of ten, I'm probably fucking on you. So... The best thing probably would be for us to look Like, that's going to show how serious I am about you. But I don't... I, I agree and I kind of disagree because... That's why I say it go both Shit going to go on whether you living with a motherfucker or not. Yeah, but you, know you what got saying? a better chance <laughs> yeah. if I'm there than if I'm... Because if I'm not there, you can't, you can't tell me when to come home. You can't got the... You really can't check shit unless you just going to be outside stuck so you, my so shit. You, so and you're if saying, you outside yeah. stuck my shit, then I know you... You crazy as fuck so, anyway. So you saying long as the woman is in the bed with you every night, you feel in a more safe place mentally in a relationship? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it, like for if we if we if we living together, it's less likely for the motherfucker to do so dead. If y'all don't stay together, then you don't know who up in that motherfucker. I'm be real, I'm gonna be real with you, man, before I let you go. I feel like you had your best times when you ain't living together. Yeah, that's why I said like yeah, okay. if I'm not with you, not talking ten, I'm fucking um I'm I'm out kicking shit all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have to. It's no set time. I gotta be nowhere because I don't live with no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I live by myself. But when you have when you live with that person, it's just certain things you ain't gonna do because it's certain things you ain't gonna ain't gonna want them to do either. So and, it, and it's healthy because you don't break up people routines, shit like that. And and it ain't it really ain't a like a priority. Like mm-hmm. I think that's what's wrong with relationship. Like I said before, people forget what got them to that point where they want to be together forever. And then once you get that entitlement, all of a sudden, shit got to change. Because we, we living together now. So routines, everything get fucked up. Both parts get frustrated. And then that's when the bullshit come in. But you, but re- what, but you really never know a person until you live with them. So. True. But what, what you think of that, bro? Um, Look, man, I, I, I think like when you move... Okay, so... First of all, if you living with somebody, mm-hmm. you have to take into account other people's well being or mm-hmm. their or or their, their their space. So if like you was just saying this there, those things that you don't like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You can like not like them all day, but mm-hmm. when you living with somebody, you have to take into account those people's 
opinions and those people feelings when it comes to shit guess what you can't leave those draws on the floor no more because you stay with somebody mm -hmm. pick them shits up guess what you better <laughs> right. watch the tub I, guess what the next motherfucker got to get in there guess what goddamn uh you, the person who you your old lady may not want to watch the dishes all the time yeah nigga when you stand by yourself only person that matters is you if you don't feel like doing something like that you don't have to right true so you can feel that about your breaking your routine all day, mm -hmm. but guess what? Your routine gonna get broke. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. So, 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 because if you stand with somebody now, what they say matters. I don't mm -hmm. give a damn how much money you making. I don't give a damn. Guess what? If it didn't matter what they say, then you, why you let them move in with you? Mm -hmm. Real shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 it, it, either you let them move in with you, so you can keep a closer eye, or you let, you let them move in with you, so they can get a closer eye on you. Ooh, whichever one it is. Real. So, I, I feel like this: if you don't want that, stay by your fucking self. Because at the end yeah. of the day, when you move in with somebody, now they're where you going. Uh, why you didn't come on at two o'clock? Now they have a reason to ask you that. Now they can sit up and say, "Damn, was you, is you gonna ever got them buy some? Take out the fucking trash, <laughs> do something, do this and that." When right, you stay right, by right. yourself, nobody yeah. can tell you shit. I stay by myself. Nobody mm -hmm. tell me a motherfucking thing because they feel mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I don't have to have, have to worry about. Damn, I know she, I know she gonna trip about all these clothes being right here, or mm -hmm. you no, know, damn, she gonna trip about the goddamn trash. If I don't want to take that shit out, I don't have to. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And guess what? If I'm living a certain type. Away, I don't invite niggas over. Boy, it's fucked up in the boy. I shit, y'all niggas <laughs> out here, boy. That's how shit yeah, go. Yeah, when real. you live yeah. with somebody that matters. Mm -hmm. Now, let me say this: okay. when you, if you gonna stay with somebody else or whatever, make sure it's for the right fucking reasons, mm -hmm. or make sure they stay with you for the right reasons. Right. If you have a problem with other people's authority or 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 she has a problem with your third authority or something like that make sure you got it set up to where your authority is more powerful than hers pay most of the bills uh uh be the the bread one etc etc mm -hmm. now if you cool with your woman got them being the bread one and all that other shit that's on you mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but just understand 90 percent of women once they figure you out it's going to let you know that they make more money than you and they may not say, you broke-ass nigga. They will sit up and say, where the fuck you been at, nigga? Or they will mm -hmm. sit up and let you know, this my shit. Mm -hmm. They gonna let you know that shit. Yeah. Nigga, this my shit, nigga. Like, so set your shit to what y'all dynamics ain't fucked up. Where y'all mm -hmm. situations ain't fucked up. Because if you don't, most women gonna let you know that shit, bro. I ain't met now yet. That ain't gonna let you know, goddamn... This day yeah. shit, especially it, if y'all yeah. bump heads a lot. Let me ask you another question. I it really I had a it was like a two question. Like, do you have to be married to have a successful relationship? No, of course not. No. Okay. No, yeah. no, no, no. You you got a successful relationship. Type, we don't you know see. I don't see plenty. I, 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 I do y'all think relationships um uh well I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna let me not say that. Niggas say don't that. even yeah. really know a bitch until they live with her anyway. Mm, yeah. That's real. You only know her first side when you don't live with her. Yeah. If you get, you know what I'm saying? Like, all you gonna know is how she kicks it and how she fucking. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But when you live with her, you know her mood swings because you're, you're gonna be around for everything now. Yeah. So you're saying it's, 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 it, the relationship would be better, like, if you already even living with the motherfucker before you even decide to marry. But let's just say y'all never lived together, but y'all engaged and then y'all had a wedding to get married. Now, within, through marriage, this would be y'all first time living together. Do you think that lasts longer than the person who already been living together and and figuring each other out before they got married, or live together when you get married? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't been married but one time. Yeah. But I lived with my wife yeah. way before we got married. Right, so, right, right. You know what I'm saying? In I my mind, too, this works out better. Cause I, I think we would try to like we would never live together before mm -hmm. and then got married. It would have been probably a disaster. I, 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 I would, I, I, nah, that's, you gotta be, yeah. you gotta live with them first. And you gotta be able to know how they coming so you could be like, okay, I can deal with it. Cause every, yeah, every woman true. bitches yeah. and complains. Yeah, so you just gotta be able to, yeah. look, yeah. can you deal with their bitch and complain? You're right about that. That's real. Let, 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 let's talk about this, man. Okay. Um, repeating what you heard someone say <laughs> or repeating secrets to other people, we've all heard this before. Shit, boy. If I tell you, don't tell nobody. <laughs> we 
We all done heard this before. And you know where I'm finna go with this shit. I got some shit on my mind today. Oh, shit. Okay. Look at mine. I'm gonna go first on this one. Go ahead, right? go ahead, go ahead. Look at mine. Yeah. For all you niggas out there, coming to tell some shit or telling... Look, I don't know no nigga in my life that I ever not repeated what somebody said. Mm. No nigga or no bitch. Every person I've ever been around, whether it was you, mm -hmm. you, anybody in the hood, done said, boy, let me tell you, some shit tell you, boy. <laughs> but don't tell nobody, though. <laughs> like, you know what's coming when yeah. a nigga tell you that shit. Yeah. And I'm going to tell y'all niggas something, man. Anything I ever done told somebody, bro, I could tell you to your fucking face. Mm -hmm. The only problem I have with a lot of you niggas or whatever, that's doing that shit or whatever, you don't pick up the phone and call me or call anybody else. Mm -hmm. Look, look here, bro. If I said something, call me. Now, maybe the young me want to did it or nothing like that right there mm -hmm. or whatever, but I would tell you to your fucking face. Period. I don't care mm -hmm. who you is. Don't give a damn what the nigga, who the nigga is or whatever. Y'all niggas don't even be mad enough to pick up the phone, bro. Me and you know how to fall out before. Mm -hmm. I called you. Hey, man, me and you done had a falling out before. I right. think at the time you felt like you was wrong, so you called me. Yeah. That's fine. Me and another man had a falling out before. I called him. I'm a real fucking grown man. Uh, another friend of ours, who we say stay at the top, mm -hmm. called him before. He didn't pick up the phone. Y'all niggas quit saying that y'all grown niggas and y'all don't pick up the fucking phone. Mm -hmm. Or y'all, well, I ain't got nothing to say. Shit, because I, you know, I know if I say something. No, no, nigga, you don't want that pressure of me, uh, of another nigga telling you what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Or telling you to your face, no, nigga, you did this shit, or you did that shit. Period. If you, you ain't, you was not fucking grown, if you can't, or, or you was not a real nigga, if you can't pick up the phone and say, this is my problem, mm -hmm. this is what happened, <clears throat> such, 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 such. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas, and, and, and y'all quit acting like y'all ain't repeating what another motherfucker, every nigga I've ever known, once again, mm -hmm. that set up and repeated some shit another motherfucker done said. And Everyone. I think, and I think it's just, go back to what we were saying earlier, it just go back to that pride shit again. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's true. Like, that's true, nigga. Like, really niggas should really appreciate a nigga, you know what I'm saying, that want to tell you about yourself or whatever the case may be, but niggas got so much pride. Like, one thing I don't learn, bro, Peers do not respect each other. Either somebody younger than you, they'll they'll at least listen. Somebody older than you, you gonna listen. fucking respect and listen to them. Yeah. But your peers, bro, we gotta get over this shit. Like, why do peers feel like they can't tell each other shit just because we the same age? Yeah. Just because we the same age don't mean we on the same level and don't mean we in the same fucking space. But see so what you just said? Yeah. That's the reason why peers can't tell each other shit. Cause certain people look at you. The way they look at you. Right. They don't look at you the way you might perceive yourself. Okay. That's so like, true. Yeah. Like, That's I real. might look at myself as a, I'm going to say, a high value man. Right. But then the, the next nigga might look at me like a piece of shit. So, right. we Especially if they grew up with you. Especially if they grew up with you. Yeah. Like, and that's why I say, like, I'm not talking about like the off wall. Yeah. I'm talking like niggas Here. we all grew up. Mm -hmm. I, nigga, nigga might look at me like, shit, I'm going to fuck with Skeet also. Let go out type shit. Yeah. Call. I know he ain't gonna be no. And, 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 and what I'm saying is some real shit. Yeah. It's niggas that only want to kick it with me because they they pussy and they mm -hmm. scared to go places and they think like, oh, if I'm with Skeet, we protect. At least I know he yeah. gonna do something. Yeah. Bro, that shit lame as hell. Cause nigga, I'm not trying to go out to fight and, and save your you ass. You don't want nigga. nobody putting you in no predicament. You put me that in you a be in any fucking yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. But guess yeah. what? Since like the like the but the younger me. I would be all for that. Yeah. You no, know, let go, yeah. nigga. We going out. Nah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, I got shit to live for. I'm yeah. older now. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I don't want to be fighting these young niggas. Mm -hmm. So get what? I don't like to go out all the time because yeah. I don't. I've, I've been going out since I was like 17, 16 yeah. years old. Nigga, I don't care about the club like most motherfuckers might. Mm. So when I say no, mm. niggas might take that ass like, oh, I just don't want to kick it with you. No, nigga, I've been doing this shit. Mm. You might have. Took a break from this shit in yeah. our youth. Yeah. And I kept on pumping. Now that you want to jump back out there, I can't. No, nigga, I don't care about that no more. And I think, I think a lot of niggas be doing a lot of shit trying to make up for times that they didn't have. When they were supposed to be doing shit. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and they bro, chose to do yeah, some other like, shit. I, like, I, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, bro. I, I would never change in the world for nothing how, how we grew up, bro. I love how we grew up because... 
bro, we went through shit. We been outside. Niggas been coming in the house 2 o'clock in the morning at 13, 14 minute, man. Walking, walking the fucking neighborhood at 1.30 in the fucking... Like, like, bro, we been out here. Like, it's a lot of kids, bro. They don't get access to shit until they finally get out the house. Then it's like... It's, it be shocking because when they fuck up and do some retarded shit, it's like, damn, I didn't think motherfucking Angela and Ashley they would be... But they... They they was never they got exposed to shit too fucking late and I and I do feel like it's a age limit for certain things that you just supposed to be doing just in general like having fun taking care of business bro like like our parents told us bro it's a time and place for every fucking thing and niggas quit, got, gotta quit trying to make up for lost times and move with the time that you in. That's just it, my opinion. It, it depends. It depends. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, though. just move with saying. the time that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and let, me, let me say this too. Shout out to that nigga who hit me on my inbox. You know who you was. We grew up together too. Nigga, when, when me and you had a problem, you could have called me. And I not look this podcast for the for we don't worry about local shit, but I'm just gonna say this shit. Mm-hmm. You could have called me. Don't hit me on my inbox, nigga. Tell me something. But you know I love you and all this other shit, nigga. When I called you that day, it was a problem, nigga. You ain't pick up the fucking phone. So you know how I feel about that shit. And now you want to hit me up because we got some motion going on or whatever the fuck going on with you. So I just feel like, bro, stay over there because you been over there anyway. If you over there, stay over there. When you see me or whatever, we cord you. I ain't got no problem with you. I sit up and speak to you. But I'm gonna tell you something, man. Y'all niggas sitting up here. Acting like a nigga wants to up and tell you what he done said or tell or say the shit that he done he done set up and said before. Y'all nigga got shit fucked up. We ain't no little boy, man. Like, like y'all nigga quit acting like, oh, like it's like 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 y'all ain't, bruh. Like I said a minute ago, stay up. We what we was talking about last week, pick a size, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I picked mine. You see it right here. I already said two things I ain't gonna tolerate. He ain't gonna disrespect the team or my wife. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's right. I, I don't like, bro. They just some real shit. Like, nigga, my, it's never parted my mouth anything about your ex wife. Mm-hmm. Like, that don't reach me, nigga. Mm-hmm. I stay in my life. That's man. facts. Never, it's parted my mouth about the mother of your child or your, your significant other. Or that's facts. Never. Cause guess what? That don't reach me. That's facts. Now, when you got certain homeboys that feel the need to speak on, Yo, yo, significant other. Either they jealous of what you got going on, mm-hmm. cause they really care. They'll come tell you. I think that shit whack. Why? You if really you gotta tell my homeboy before you tell yeah. me, then nigga, you just really jealous and want to be in my spot, nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause you'll come tell me, cause you want me to know. You wouldn't say some shit yeah. to my homeboy, and then get mad when I really say what's going on to you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then wait months and months and months. Yeah. And then say something about this shit. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like that shit. And I'm not gonna bite my tongue and not tell a nigga. Like, I, bro, I keep it extra fuck when nigga say something about you. Mm-hmm. Before, I, before, before I come tell you, I'm gonna tell him, man, if you ain't gonna say it to him, don't say it to me. But see, yeah. that goes back to what Booster said. Niggas get, rappers get killed in their hometown. Wanna know why? Cause they grew up with these niggas mm-hmm. who, knew the, who knew them when they was little. Yeah. And they had boogers in their nose and they didn't have shoes to go to school. Oh, I remember that nigga where he was lame as fuck and he was in sixth grade and he couldn't get a bitch. Or I yeah. remember that nigga when he didn't have no shoes, he had mama them something to to school, no nigga, that nigga done leveled up on your bitch ass. Thanks. And guess what? Shit done leveled up over here, nigga. I don't mm-hmm. want you to sit up and look at anybody on my team or me or whoever. Don't look at that nigga like, oh, you just because you knew him. Nigga, mm-hmm. what you doing now, nigga? And so guess what y'all sit up and say? Oh, that nigga be still doing this and he still be doing that. Well, guess what, nigga? I say that shit to your face. If you think we, if you think anything's some little boy shit, mm-hmm. some little boy shit, you know what I'm saying? Please, please act like a grown man. And pick the phone up. That's all I'm saying. Because every one of you, any, any nigga I ever had a problem with, I dare nigga to sit up and say that I ain't called him. And now, ain't any nigga. No, hold on, people. Yeah, G, yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah. G. Any nigga. I ain't going to give y'all niggas no fucking clock by calling your name out. Because, yeah. you know, we about 6,000 subscribers up. So, we ain't going to do that. <laughs> but, yeah. tell me a nigga who I ever had a problem with I didn't call. Tell me one who I ever had a problem with I didn't call. Like I say, anyone, in, anybody. And like I say, bro, y'all niggas acting like, oh, it's only certain niggas doing certain shit. All y'all niggas repeat shit. Every single one. Every single nigga. I don't know. Nobody. Nobody who ain't repeating that somebody done said. Not one person, bro. But I just had to get off. Y'all know, y'all know Shard the new 50, man. You know what I'm saying? Had to get that shit off my chest. Kodak Black, man. 
signing forty million dollar deal with Capital Man. <laughs> Supposedly twenty to forty million. Okay. I just want to say shout out Kodak Black. I will mm-hmm. let y'all niggas have the flu. What y'all think about that shit, man? That's great. I think he one of the most creative artists in the game right now. But I don't think people give Kodak enough flowers like he deserves. Like, bro, Kodak, fuck it. Like musically, bro. Like that nigga, a really a genius. It may he may got a little slur from from drugs, whatever it may be, but boy, that nigga is creative as fuck. I think he a very very dope artist, and uh, they don't they he he they 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 underrate this nigga, bro. I don't like shit, this. Shit. Let me get ten million. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, man, I think Kodak Black deserve it. He been mm-hmm. hollering about he needed a deal, not needed a deal, but he should get a deal. Uh, and he cared about I, his I fuck, craft too. I fuck with Walt that he got yeah. out now. I fuck. I fuck with Spin mm-hmm. that he got out right now. Um, I fuck with both of them tracks, man. I yeah. think they dope. I think they he think he killing shit. Forty million dollars for him, bro. You gotta realize Cash Money is a whole fucking record label. that got thirty million back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For him, I, I think it's just him. Like mm-hmm. I don't think he has nothing over there for a sniper game. I ain't trying to disrespect you yet. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Um, that 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 they signing him for. I think that he pulled out enough music for them. To cut that kind of check for him. Well, now, let me ask you this: then. If they gonna give him, this, this, I, this is something I've been thinking about, and I think, right. shit, you know how motherfucker I would say, we project you to make sell one hundred and twenty five thousand this time, but the first time you sold, you might sold half a million, but right. they gonna tell you before the music even drop, you only gonna sell one hundred twenty five thousand. Mm-hmm. If they giving that man twenty to forty million, how much you think he really worth then? At least a, a eighty ball. 90 ball? Yeah, probably it's about 80. Cause then they get what young boy got? What, 60? 60. We finna get on that. So yeah. shit. <laughs> that nigga must be worth by goddamn 120 then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's dope though, man. Yacht been deserving it, man. He been dropping hot music. I don't give a fuck what BT say. He had the song of the year with uh Super Grimmer, man. You gotta think about it. besides young boy, like creative songs wise, mm-hmm. you don't get no more creative than Kodak Black, bro. Nah, it's yeah. him and Young Boy. Like yeah. like far as that generation below the age of twenty five. Him, Young Boy mm-hmm. and um Lil Baby. Those yeah. the three. Below twenty five. Lil Baby about twenty six, I think now. You know no, Lil Baby twenty eight. Kodak Black younger than Lil Baby? No, Lil Baby twenty eight. Twenty eight. Well, he's somewhere around. Yeah. yeah I did not know yeah. Kodak Black was younger than Lil Baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kodak Black like twenty four, twenty five. Hey, you know he's that young boy, y'all. You know he uh, he's but he seemed like so much more seasoned. Like yeah, he, he do. Just, mm-hmm. He do. Speaking of young boy, mm-hmm. young boy signs with Motown. I think they gave him sixty. Uh, I think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't expect Motown. I I don't know why. I thought he would have went. I did. You did. Why is that? The biggest artist Motown I had since Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh yeah, true, yeah. true. And then you got you got to think about them record companies who really don't have a lot of artists right. no more. He Go probably, get the he probably he, it, it was probably a smart move. It. it probably was a smart move because they probably thinking like, well, shit, this nigga can revamp our shit, so we gonna put it all on them. A, a, a company like Def Jam or uh, uh, whoever else. Uh, what's what's the other one name? The, them other ones, the Atlantic, Atlantic, Atlantic shit like that. Uh, they got so many Atlantic motherfuckers. School. He probably wouldn't have got that offer. So that Kodak did some sport. Not Kodak. I'm sorry. NBA yeah. Youngboy did some some new era sports shit. Basically, you know how all the athletes go to the big school, but now shit, any any athlete he went can get to the highest from small schools or big schools. So it's like I know why he did it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Smart, yeah, what you gonna be the biggest artist over there? You gonna get all the attention? Everything. Yep. They gonna make sure your shit yeah, main squeeze. And <laughs> nigga, they had Michael fucking Jackson, the biggest artist pretty ever. much ever. They had a lot of artists on Motown. And ever. now you got pretty about to much the them biggest around. artist of ever. the computer era. Yeah. Yes. The yes. digital era. The, digital, the digital era. era. Yeah. Uh I think it was dope, man. Um, I think like what did y'all listen to his Ma I got a I got a family mixtape yep. yet? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I thought it was dope. Now, I think after this one, it's going to be on Motown. Now, I do believe that with this Motown contract, he owned everything mm-hmm. going forward. I think that's dope. You know what I'm is saying? Is it a him deal or is it a 4K trade? Now, see, now you know, they signed with, uh, I can't remember the label. Uh, we've been drinking, y'all. But they with another. They <laughs> cash money? I can't. Uh, no, they ain't cash money, but they with another. Uh, who's that? Oh, okay. 
Yeah, they were another um, l label, but I can't remember who it was because they just dropped the Halloween, sh whatever it was. Yeah. But um, him, he's with Motown, I think, just by himself, and that's what he had got cut. So look, man, I think that's dope. Shout out to Young Boy. You know what I'm saying? Can't he wait for great you. company over there. And keep dropping mm -hmm. shit, man. Build Boy. your catalog up. Keep building your catalog. Why, he gonna be the first. He he he. Okay, it ain't no. I ain't no, never seen nobody. He's gonna drop be the him. first. <laughs> Motown big time rapper Period. Get put it beside like the fucking temptations, the Supremes, Michael Jackson, the Jackson Five. Like nigga, you going they're putting you a legendary motherfuckers. Facts. I ain't gonna lie, man. That nigga dropped. That's some big shit. I ain't never right seen my lot of I, other than Lil Wayne, I other than features, I ain't never seen nobody drop this much music in one year. Shit, Gucci man. Gucci man, boy. Wait, what the one, 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 one thing? No, 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 I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going, I'm, I'm asking. No, no, I'm telling you, like, Gucci Mane. That nigga on brought out, like, three Man, let me tell you something about Gucci Mane when he was in here mode. Not not Gucci Mane. Yeah. Got down when wow. he was got down, uh, <laughs> Wiz Op and all. Man, yeah. when I say that nigga, that nigga had a mixtape every two mixtapes a week. Yeah. Two. And I'm talking about, you going to get a gangster grills out of one of them hoes. Like, nigga, <laughs> don't play with Gucci Wop. Like, and then Wayne was dropping a new song every day and a feature. Yeah. Let me ask y'all a question. Who the that was hip hop? Let me ask y'all a question right now. Who the hardest working hip hop artist in the game right now? Right now? Yeah. Right young now. Boy. The hardest young working boy. NBA young boy, Lil Baby, Kodak. Who the hardest working? Young boy. I gotta say, young boy, Lil Baby, then Kodak in that order. But young boy dropped three. You put Lil Baby in front of uh, Kodak. It's hard work. Cause he got movies and shit. Kodak just got songs. Yeah. Yeah. Young boy got a. A lot of songs, and he's the number one nigga. So yeah, yeah. shout out Young Boy, man. Uh, we fuck with you over there, man. Keep getting that bread. Uh, we got that interview. Hey, I'm you trying know to sign what? 4K should, should, should I should I say it or no? No, 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 no. 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 We're no. We're no. We're no. We're across the head. No, no, no. no. Hey, no. no. hey. hey. no. hey. no. 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 look, they like us. <laughs> hey. they think we are. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but look, y'all see this? Hey, it coming. But anyway, um, let's go on, man. Let, let, let's talk about let's get some sports real quick, man. Uh, Tom Brady sucks. <laughs> divorce finalized. We'll talk about my huh? quarterback. His divorce is finalized. I mean, well, maybe he will start a goddamn playing better. He's Tom Brady. Shit. He gets more puss. He's I've never in my now, life. Now let me quit saying that, Kai. <laughs> Niggas that got a divorce, like I yeah, never heard about you, this. Like, come on, and got children yeah. and everything. Like this, so, but, this but first time you I'm are Tom Brady. She is Giselle. She can get some young dick. You can get some young. Hey man, but look, this, this is white people problems. Yeah, right? yeah, I ain't. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. Well, care. I've never in my life but seen you. a black man lose a bitch because he won't come home. <laughs> I've never in my life seen a black man lose a woman because he don't want to stop. Because because, because he don't want to. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I never seen a black man lose a woman because he wanna. Keep a job. Ooh. This nigga lost his bitch because he, <laughs> he won't work. quit a job. That's but she got more money than him. I'm just saying. So we 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 missing the whole dynamic. Hold on, don't get it twisted. They both got a couple hundred million. Yeah, so but she's got I, more. I don't care if she got five and I got three, nigga. Fuck that shit. He ain't got three. Well, whatever. Though. I think he got like two, at least two. He, Tom Brady worth like 200 million. Oh, he ain't got more than her, though. Shit. What I'm saying. She got 400 million in the bank, nigga. Right, that's a she fact. paid. She I been like paid. It. Like he could have been quit if he wanted to, and he took a lot of pay cuts. So that's really this nigga. This nigga paid. lost his bitch because he can't keep a because he want to keep a job. But anyway, hey Tom, Tom trying to submit them goddamn them records and statistics so nobody will never fucking catch it. That's all he doing. No, nah, I think he just love the game. Like, like what you gonna do? You forty five years old and you stop playing. What the fuck you gonna no, do? You know what that, that says to me though? It also says something about Tom. <laughs> mm -hmm. it says something about her. Oh yeah. That nigga don't want to retire for a reason. Talk to him. Right. He, he must know being home with this bitch all the Hello. <laughs> being at home with this lady all the time. Even though y'all rich, so y'all can take trips, y'all can do a lot of things. Right, right. He probably just don't want to be around her all the damn time. But guess what? So that do that make Tom Brady mm -hmm. a She uh, might listen. be annoying. Hey, do that make Tom Brady a brother? Since he don't want to be around. No, they, they, he's a man. Like, bro. Oh, that shit got nothing to do with color. <laughs> nah, no, yeah, it's white type, men who don't want to be around their bitch. Yeah. It's black men who don't want to be around their bitch. It's Jewish men who don't want to be around their bitch. It's slave men who didn't want to be around their slave hoe. Nigga, mm. this is what is going on. Right? Every man ain't just cool with being around their girl all the time. I, I me personally, I'm I don't care. It's not I I am I, I'm cool. I'm cool. We ain't. But 
it's a lot of niggas who just that irritate them. Like I, I know niggas who that irritates. I know women who it, it irritate them that they man be around them all the time. So it like, you know what I'm saying? Take the good with the bad with that shit. Hey man, Tom, just go home, brother. Don't lose your whole family behind this shit, man. Hey, Steve I'm Nash fired. Kind of knew that was gonna happen. It's about damn time. They won't. He was eat. never qualified. Do you do you think? Yeah. I don't even want to go there. Look, Steve Nash yeah. made no goddamn adjustments last Thanks. year or the year before in the playoffs. I've never seen a coach who didn't do shit. Like, literally, you just sat there with your arms crossed like this and shit the whole fucking game, and you literally didn't do nothing. I'm talking about no in-game adjustments. You got seven games, bro. There's no in the foot Phil Jackson or any other coach. Goddamn Pat Riley, anybody is going to go seven games with KD just, KD, take the shot when you can. You this nigga played forty like forty six fucking minutes in overtime, <coughs> forty eight minutes total and overtime against the Milwaukee Bucks. I think that was in Game Six or whatever. Yeah. And Steve Nash literally made no adjustments, none. Now y'all can simply say, man, that's easy to say. Now go back to episode thirty one, thirty two. I said this shit right here on this fucking episode, literally. They should have been fired as that. I know who they finna hire. No, let's talk about it. Let's talk about but it. Should I, they replace him with Ime Adoka? I'm going to say yes, but no. And I got my reason for no ain't because of he you fucking that bitch consensually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me say that. Yeah. First of all, the only reason I would say no to Ime Adoka because I feel like Mark Jackson deserve a job. Facts. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. But if you don't want to give it to Mark Jackson, then come on with email. Doki. That's a good question. Why do y'all think? But why you think? Go, I'm, Mark Jackson's yeah. supposed to have a job. I'm, I'm, All them yeah. chips Steve Kerr got, those are Mark Jackson's. Niggas don't want to say that, but I'm going to say it. All them chips in Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson taught them boys up from day one. Best shooting backcourt in basketball. Before them niggas ever did it. Thing. Before they even spanked the Clippers or spanked goddamn the Rockets. Why you think Mark Jackson Listen. ain't got a job yet? Because, get what? He had morals. Mm, that's mm. real. And it's different Mark, when you Mark, really Jackson, got, Mark Jackson, the Christian too. Now, see what I'm saying? Strong Christian. Strong. He, but, back. he he's like he went with everything that Steph Curry is about because Steph Curry is a family man, Christian man is with. So all that shit, man, you know, shit happened for a reason though. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, let me tell you something. It's, it's certain things called lineage in basketball. Mm. Like how LeBron can just say he know for a fact his son's coming to the league. That's why he trying to stay around and play with him. Luke Walton sucked. What did he? That nigga sucked and got a ring, yeah. and then all of a sudden became a coach. Yeah, mm. all of a sudden, but but, but you're but. assistant coach and you got the main coach fired and then got another job. But two times, most most players. But my nigga in the yeah. announcing booth. But most players who didn't really get that much clock, like you go back, feel just most great coaches sat on the bench. Think, think about. But it. I was saying about that coach. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. never even supposed to make the lead. Now you do got who some that? play. Huh? Luke Walton, that nigga was shit like yeah, his dad. Yeah, you, you only had like a, went to Arizona when Arizona were five. You only had like a few players that were great coaches. I think Larry Bird was a good coach. I think uh, Larry Bird was a great coach. Yeah, oh yeah, he was a good coach. Um, okay, what's went, that? What Mo Mo Mo? Uh, I can't think of his fucking name. It was Larry Bird on coach three. Mo years. Cheeks. Mo Cheeks was a good coach. I like Pat Mark Riley. Jackson was a good coach. Y'all think Jason Kidd a good coach? Yeah, I like. Yeah, he's a good decent is. coach. Yeah, I think. Cause I feel like one of the main thing they only worry about coaches personalizing their dark color, right? Like if we really if we talked about all the coaches, may not been doing crack problem doing cocaine. Hold up, Monty Williams played too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. a good coach. Hell, yeah. the yeah. coach of the day, oh, the Pelicans, my boy, oh, what you call it? Who played? Oh, uh, Green, Willie Green, on Willie something. Green? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, he yeah. might get coach of the year. But here's the question I want to ask y'all. And this been stirring up in in the media. Is the new has the new era arrived? And has the old era are they are they uh in the midst? Meaning, if you just think about all the top superstars that's been in the NBA finals and just being talked about for the last several years, they all starting off in losing records. With Golden State, Clippers, Los Angeles Lakers, only team where well, that he's not a part of the uh He's not a part of the old era. Giannis is a part of the new era. So no, Giannis is the best think player in the NBA. Think, do y'all think for the old the LeBron? Y'all think the LeBron era, meaning all all the other players that was in that era, do y'all think they little shit is over with? And the new they they have arrived. Right. Morant, I, I, meaning Morant 
Luca, Jokic, uh, all that. Like, do, who you do you think is over, or, or had these young guns arrived now? I'm gonna say so that okay. nobody is gonna say or will say, or they're gonna try to be like, hell no. Nah. Look, look at his numbers. LeBron is not the number one player no more. Yeah, yeah. He he cannot be your number one player on your team. Because he can't. LeBron play cannot either. be your number one player. Who else can't be your number one player? He can't play Definitely. both ends Russ of the floor no more. Number one player. Hey, the whole Laker team can't be. But LeBron needs to be with a player that's been, like if LeBron played with Giannis. Yeah. Oh, he'll be lit. Or LeBron played in Golden State. Man, Cal's crib. He's a great contributor. Yeah, but he yeah. don't want to go downhill. Like LeBron wanted to go to the hole every fucking play and then kick it out. He would be LeBron again, but he don't want to do that. Right. So as long as he's selling on that jump shot, he can't be your number one player. Well, he don't play player. both ends of the floor. He going to need another player, but y'all going to get him all the accolades from what that other good player do. Yeah, like, I don't care. Damian Lillard come down. Miles Turner them come yeah. down. Anybody that could, it going to take a nigga like Giannis to be on his team. Well, you can't be like, all right, dog. Yeah, y'all just dropping down fifty pieces. So you can't just say that yeah. LeBron better than him. Yeah, I, I, I think. Look, I think Golden State's still gonna win it. It's early. It's still early. You know what I'm saying? I do believe that you could see the younger stars emerging in the league right mm -hmm. now. You see it happening. Like Pelicans over there kicking ass from when I see. What? It. Look you good. Know what I'm saying? Um, now I will say this. I. And them house and them calves in the we east. Gotta, we got to look, books. man. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. honest with you, man. Okay. We can go back and forth all day. Okay. We, we, I don't give a damn what y'all say. <laughs> well, I just weird shit. This is honest right. to God, shit. Go ahead. We gotta stop disrespecting Giannis. I've never seen a player in the NBA history being disrespect. Giannis, I took him Cooper. Hold, hold up, hold up. He had an all time high right now. No, no, I ain't no all time high. Giannis, I took. Who Giannis is? Yeah. Giannis, I ain't got yeah. no gray. I ain't got no reverb. <laughs> I got on them MVP what the y'all <laughs> I ain't disrespecting shit. Well, nobody in the history of the NBA has ever been disrespected like this, man. We sitting up here acting like he ain't the best player in the league. We really sitting up here acting like he's not the best player in the league. When Shaq couldn't shoot free throws, when Shaq couldn't shoot threes and all that shit, when he was the best player in the league, we weren't questioning that shit. When Kim Elijah didn't shoot threes, we weren't questioning that shit. When Michael Jordan's the best player and he didn't shoot threes like that, we weren't questioning that shit. Giannis Antetokounmpo <laughs> is the best player in the NBA. Once again, they started off four and one, or whatever the fuck the record is. They were five and zero, oh, I thought. No, they, five, they, they six and zero, oh, right? Six yeah, and zero. Yeah, they well, they were six undefeated and oh, yeah. team. Look, I've been drinking Ciroc, so. I just 30, thought 30, about, 37 PPG. My point is, yeah. is that he's the best player in the league. And if I ain't mistaken, Chris Middleton ain't playing. I ain't played yet. I ain't played yet, yeah. So we got to quit acting like, oh, well, he ain't the best player because he ain't skilled wise. Katie, them old and fucking whatever. Oh, that nigga been shooting three this season. No, I'm just saying, he ain't, you know, nigga, you know. But he a center. It ain't really like he's got to shoot three. That's my point. He's the best player in the, his team is winning because he does it on both sides of the court. Guess who has the lowest defensive rating in the NBA right now? I bet you can't, I bet you can't guess it. Mm, Lakers of the world. Out, out of all the stars in the NBA, who, no player, oh, one player, player. You said one, one player. player got what now? Who had the lowest defensive efficiency? Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Factual. Luca cooked everybody over there. Everybody. Yeah. Lowest defensive defensive efficiency. Guess who? Guess who in the top ten? Who? <laughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> I mean, he he basically. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard I don't want to hear with more speed. Bro, this is this is not this is not a motherfucking uh, skills challenge. This is not about ooh, he got a pure, his jumper looks good. This is not about goddamn now who's dominating the game, huh? Who's dominating the no, game? Who right plays now? the best? Who wins? Who put W's up? Who's the best player in the NBA? Nobody was saying this shit in the nineties when Shaq was just dunking on niggas and couldn't shoot free throws. Nobody. The we best things quit. We are the things quit. you can't this, coach. Exactly. We got to quit disrespect. So let me ask you a question. Man. So Steph Curry ain't the best player. He just won the NBA championship and MVP. No, he didn't win MVP. He won. Finals nah, yeah, MVP. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He ain't the best player in the world right now? Just, I mean, they, just, no, because they got they, the just, just because they He record. has the best team. But you don't think he's the, the best player? Because now, no. now, now, now I, I don't know if it was you, but I think I argued with you one time when we were talking about the best players, and I said, man, you all said, matter of fact, and I said Kevin Durant, and you said, well, that nigga just won the NBA championship, and he put Kevin Durant out, and he the MVP. Yeah. But Steph Curry, I've been best player in the NBA. 
I don't think he's the best player in the NBA right now. Okay. Well, you know what I'm saying? Some people do. And and and, yeah. and and honestly, you didn't make the argument about Steph Curry. You made the argument about Kevin Durant. No, that's no, that's. And, what and, I, and, I, I just said that. And, and I say, think yeah. Kevin Durant has proven that he's not the best player. But I'm now I'm making the argument. If Michael Jordan was winning on the losing team, yeah. there's no one in the world somebody say he's the best player in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like if you look, that's like Brad the Bit averaging 30 for the Washington Wizards a couple of years. Washington Wizards a couple of years ago, and nobody gave a fuck because guess what? He was on a losing fucking squad. Giannis is winning. Even on a bad team, somebody's got to shoot. somebody got to shoot on a bad team. Charles Barkley said this shit a long time ago. Now, I know some of y'all niggas will be like, how many rings Charles Barkley got? Charles Barkley is the best pound-for-pound -pound basketball player ever, other than either him or Allen Iverson. To never win a ring. Would never win a ring. Whichever one you want to go with. I, I, I ain't arguing with nobody on that. But as far as, like, who's the best player in the NBA, mm -hmm. and I ain't, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not arguing with nobody who say Steph. But we right. gotta quit disrespecting Giannis like he ain't acting like he ain't up there. Like he ain't either one or one A or one or two. Like mm -hmm. just straight up, bro. How many seasons he got to start four and fucking oh, five and fucking oh, make the team to go to the NBA the NBA uh, Eastern Conference Finals every fucking year? Cause let's be real. If you had to pick MVP of the season right now, who would it be? Giannis. For me, Giannis. Yes, yeah, I mean, or Steph. Well, let me ask you. Eight games. Who, who y'all yeah. top three players right now so far? Playing. Giannis, Playing. Steph Curry. You might have to go Luca, bro. He cooking them, bro. Yeah. He cooking them now. I mean, I'm just, I'm being un, completely unbiased. Nah, Giannis or Luca? Okay. Giannis, Luca, Steph. I, I might throw you off with mine. What? You, two of them in there. Who? I would say Giannis, Luca, and Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards was balling. I feel like yeah, Timberwolves is slept on yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Like, Timber, let me tell you something. They thought that was a bad trade. Oh, with, hold on, man. Let Rudy Gobert. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, he, he, let, let, let me change my list. I'm gonna say Giannis, Curry, and Morant. Ooh, I forgot about that too. I forgot about Morant. Now, and I still fuck with you, Trey. I ain't gonna lie, Trey. I fuck with you. I fuck with you, Trey. I forgot about you. That nigga at the Edwards ball. Yeah, yeah. It was up there too, man. And they thought that trade was stupid. That trade working out now. Get what? Carden the Tiger roam around. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. But all I'm saying is, look, man, we gotta give Giannis some respect, bro. What he's doing on both ends of the floor. Did all man? Hold up, honorable mention. Donovan Mitchell on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> yeah, Donovan Mitchell. Y'all boys Donovan. ain't playing. I ain't gonna lie. When you see Donovan Mitchell, you look so stocky. You like this nigga ain't yoking like this. This nigga See, that, that, nigga, that, nigga, that nigga yoking with more power now in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. and like he got that LeBron juice. From yeah, back yeah, the day. yeah. Oh, got my man. Uh, uh, Donovan Mitchell, bro. Uh, I'm like, oh, this nigga just yammed on this nigga out here, bro. Like, mm -hmm. it's about like really yammed. And coming up with two hands. Two hands, cocking that bitch back to the, like, putting that bitch in the middle of the And Karis LeBert balling out his mind, too, right bro, now. Bro, Cleveland ain't no bullshit now. Quit, quit playing. But is, is, is Donovan Mitchell like a real leader? Because he didn't, he didn't, I mean, he couldn't get over the hump in Utah. Uh, well, shit. let's be real with Utah now. Like, okay, so. They was a good. They was a good team in the Western Conference. They could have easily been a top three team in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, he, he had a better. You think he got a better cast now or then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cleveland man. I think know, both of them got a better. Cast. Uh, I think what, what, Rudy Gobert, Garland, on a better team, yeah. and I think got them Donovan Mitchell on a better team yeah. than when them two were together. Yeah. Okay. They complement the teams they own with right now, way better. Donovan Mitchell, he he been there for a minute now. It, it, he getting in that stage of where he got a he gonna have to prove that he a real leader and he can lead his team because he he taking that same path. You you know his career remind me of Paul George started off like a fucking firecracker, but he just couldn't never get over the hump of being no, a leader. No, no, we, we got we got to put some respect on Paul. I'm tell you why. No, no, no. I, Cause Paul George look, had a, a damn near career. In I was say, well, that oh yeah, 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 that, that, so, yeah. Like, you know, I Paul about George that. I about that. East Conference Finals in Indiana until he fucked up that. Well, it was a knee, wasn't it? When he, uh, I know he broke his ankle. I know, but, broke, broke, he broke his leg. Yeah, you know, some um, shit. Yeah, some, some shit with the leg. Yeah, that's you know shit nasty. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. so I, I ain't gonna. Put I, it yeah, I forgot about that. I'm yeah, you know, so I'm just different. I'm just basing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Tripping. That's a little different, but yeah. no, no, you, you yeah. I, mean, I get what you're saying though. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I just but, feel like you know, Cleveland. Like, but to answer your question, yeah, as far as like the new. The NBA yeah. done change, bro. It done change. So it don't change. So y'all think that area it's a crossover in there? Like they, All like right. the, the like the people that linking up to play with each other. That shit don't mean that no more. The but only old nigga that can win right yeah. now, 
It's the only old niggas that can win the chip is the, is the uh, Warriors. The Warriors. Other yeah. than that, it gonna be some young. I'm gonna tell you what, what Steph yeah. them what Steph them done did. With with and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a prize. What yeah. Steph them did, they got young niggas that can step up that you see that's gonna take over the reins. Kaminga yeah. coming along. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wiseman ain't even really played. He was number one pick, but if you seen him in college, you know he that that deal. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like uh, we could move Draymond out the fucking way. Pool in up. Not saying Draymond not a fact. I'm just saying yeah. they got so many if young you niggas. Draymond, it ain't gonna hurt because you still yeah. got Kaminga or you got Wiseman. Wiseman, yeah. Every uh, one of them, you can slide Looney to the four or you can keep Looney five. Is, and the niggas sit up and make fun of Looney. I ain't gonna cut you off, but the niggas sit up and make fun of Looney. Looney has always been solid. Literally, he gonna give you this on the offense. He gonna give you this Play on the defense, defense yeah. and you know what he gonna fucking do. Looney crafty. I shit. I you keep know him. what I mean? And he can really shoot. He yeah. just don't. He just. Do his thing. I'm gonna get rebounds, and if I got a loose ball, I can put it back. I'm gonna put it back. Yeah, and and and, and G, you know, back on what you were saying about the championship. Yeah, what I'm saying is that yeah, when you win a championship and the best player, if you play like the best player, yeah, yeah you. I'm talking about right now the lead, right? Yeah, now. I'm talking about right now through six, seven, eight games. Giannis, Ante, whatever his name is, I ain't gonna sit up here and try right. to look. We bad speakers. That's what we call yeah. bad speakers. Ante, come whatever. Yeah. He, he's, the, he's the best player in the NBA, bro. Like, we got to quit respecting this man. Because KD ain't doing it on both sides. They own fucking four. There's no in hell Michael Jordan, LeBron James in his prime at 30 fucking two or 33, or whatever the fuck age KD is. It's going to be owing nothing. Michael Jordan didn't lose two games in a row from 1990 to 1998. And that's just off the top of my fucking head. Mm. Think about it. Most niggas in the NBA really don't like Giannis. And the only reason they don't like him is he's because from, he's, from overseas. He's, a, he's a creative player. Yeah, right. but when but when when Miyama get in the league, what the hell, y'all gonna definitely hate him? I can, I can believe that because he's no, longer, yeah. but can do everything KD can do. No, so, I can believe that, yeah, because because people really, if y'all think about it, people didn't really like Dirk, but he still got one. Yeah, but see, Dirk didn't yeah. really play both sides of the court like Giannis did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like Giannis played both they sides, and Giannis yeah. got like an old school mentality. Like I don't want to kick it with y'all. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. He, he's one of the only foreign niggas. Who has a U.S. mentality when it comes to, I want to be better, better than y'all niggas. I'm like, not teaming up with y'all niggas. You yeah. can tell Kobe Bryant was his favorite player. Facts. Well, he, said or, Allen, he said Allen Iverson was. Or Allen yeah. Iverson. But the same but shit. But that's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Same and that's no disrespect. To, uh, shit, when yeah. I say, listen, that's no disrespect. Because who, who had more heart than them two niggas? Mm. Oh, wanted to win more than them mm. two niggas. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I feel you on that. You get, you get Allen Iverson four more inches. He winning a chip. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't stopping that. <laughs> you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. But that's all. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's get on to something else, man. Uh, I want to ask y'all about this shit, man. We, ain't ne- I, we may have touched on it a little bit, but just a little bit. How important is job security when it comes to the United States? How important is job security? How important is it to have a job? And you can speak on the mentality of keeping a job and shit like that. I'm going to let y'all just roam on this one. Like, how y'all feel about that? I feel, I mean, you got responsibilities, it's important. Because you got to pay shit. But I will say, I mean, it's set up in America for you to have to work and to worry about the shit because nigga, you can't the, it's, the more money you get, the more bills you get. If that makes sense to you. No, that makes mm-hmm. sense. Completely when you sense. broke, you ain't got shit to pay. Yeah. But as soon as you get a dollar, you got it's something you got to spend it on. They make it that way too. That's how I look at America. The more, the like, more you get, much more is required. That's how it works. Yeah, uh, but uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, so when it comes to job security, look, man. When it came to our parents, which mm-hmm. most of our parents in our 60s and 70s, mm-hmm. job security was everything because you had to let somebody give you something. You had to wait for a white man or Jewish person, which is still technically white, mm-hmm. to give you something. Hey, so their mentality when it comes to this was more so, hey, y'all know it. Y'all done heard it before. Hey, young brother. You in here now. <laughs> Hold on to this now. Get your 401k now, brother. Right. You know, stay here now. You know, yeah. do this and that. Look, man, we living in 2022, man. The mentality of the young person now is fuck that shit. Mm-hmm. 
plain and simple, you bro. Create and I, and I, I know you feel the same way, but you didn't know which way I was going to go with it. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, you know, I, I agree with what you were saying, but I know I'm just going on the deeper end. Look, man, it's I, I, I know women who I done ran into who kids literally got a $20,000 check. Literally, from Snapchat for making filters. Guess what? They, they, guess what the issue, what I'm saying? They y'all saying, oh, okay, that's good. Her son was 16. That's more than a lot of motherfuckers' salary. The average teacher in, the, in Georgia makes about 35000 a year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look, a lot of these jobs mentally, tri- mentally mind fuck us to think, oh, you better hold on. Mm-hmm. You know this and that. With this internet shit, look at right now, we up here doing a podcast with about four or five cameras. And, and we're going to upload this shit on YouTube and make our own revenue. You know what I'm saying? And create our own job security. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like the COVID shit that hit showed us that job security don't mean shit. Because mm-hmm. a lot of y'all motherfuckers didn't even want to go back to work. Mm-hmm. I know when I went to parts stores and shit for my car to get parts and shit, they were closing at 4 or 5 o'clock because they ain't had no motherfucking uh, customer service reps to represent the, the company. They didn't have nobody to take the job. Shit, unemployment was pl- paying more than paying some of these more people than jobs. the fucking job. And just to uh, go off of what you were saying, I was going in that direction. Man, you don't had this discussion before anyway. Like, bro, job security, for our era, first of all, we ain't getting no social security or none of that shit. Like, get that shit out your head. But me and him don't have these conversations, bro. It's going to come a time where it ain't going to be no such thing as middle class. Either you here or you, or you fucking bottom. here. And I'm going to tell you something. You better have something going on because we in a different world, bro. Like, we in a di- like, like if, you, if you notice, uh, technology is growing and it's, ex- it is extinguishing people in positions that had secure positions. You go to Walmart you, right now. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to have a motherfucker. They got, got one no- fucking line open. Yeah. 20 registers. And everything else self-checkout. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, go ahead. My bad. Shit, shit is getting eliminated. So it's like, I just tell people like, especially in Atlanta, this, this is a growing city. It, it, it's so many things. And, and it's okay to do something that somebody else is doing long as you long as you doing something where you in control of your own destiny. But if you put that shit in somebody else's hands, it's going to be fucked up. But me and him had that conversation before where it's like, every, it's going to get to a point where everybody going to have their own shit going. That's why. Or you're going to be fucked up. I feel like you know they're going middle class already. And a lot of people are already... Got their own shit going. Like I know a lot of people with food trucks. Mm-hmm. I don't. I lot of know stuff. Nigga, you do your own thing. Like yeah. I know a lot of niggas who don't work for nobody. Like they they own exactly. boss. So yeah. I, I really feel like that shit. Like the I feel like it's either you, you're getting a whole bunch of money or you, you you're self employed or you do work for somebody and you just figuring it out. My thing yeah. is if they gonna if the if the if the government gonna gonna separate the economy like that. I feel like as entrepreneurs, we shouldn't have to pay taxes. Because if you out here on your own and you ain't dependent on no corporation to save you, we ain't got no fu- Unions ain't across 50 states. It's only through half of them. So I just feel like, motherfucker, if you're doing your own thing, you shouldn't have to pay taxes. That, that, that what you're saying is true. Yeah. But the thing is, the government is the mob. They the yeah. new mob. Thank you. Yeah. I was definitely saying. So that <laughs> ain't going to happen. Yeah, I you know ain't what ain't going to happen. Your but it's just, now, now, it's y'all done, thinking, y'all done, y'all done read these books and, and y'all done went to school and they told you, oh, this is for fixing roads and this is for the fire department, the police yeah. department. This is on the tangent. I'm just being honest. Yeah. That shit ain't for none of that shit. The government is the mob. That's the same shit the mob did before the government came into play. And Skeet, you know that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all that shit is. They're just taking money from motherfuckers who they can because they were the motherfuckers that settled on this land before anybody else settled on this land to sit up and claim it. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. Now, with that being said, the, the, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of these companies are mind-fucking you to sit up and say, oh, you come in and do a good job. Come in and work hard and do this and this and that. They do that shit because guess what? They influence you to do good at your fucking job. Then guess what you're going to do? Be comfortable. Mm-hmm. And where you're at The reason why we're doing this podcast Is it not to work for no motherfucking Fuck body body. Yeah. I work a job He works a job He yeah. has his own fucking business We keeping it real here Yep. So so at the end of the day Because we understand that In the future Job security don't mean shit. shit 
Shot sock to the niggas period. I throw boxes with. Man. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap you down, but I, I work in the White House. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something. Like, that's the reason why we do this shit for y'all, because this is we say this shit all the time. So y'all can simply say we just be capping. This is the podcast of the everyday man. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple, bro. We just happen to be fly ass niggas. But, yeah. <laughs> right, right, you know what I'm right. saying? We work yeah. though. But that yeah. job security shit is Bullshit, man. Yep. And I think everybody here agree with it. Yep. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and and yeah. it's a mind fuck to make you feel, you work, make you go hard for some shit. Because guess what? At the end of the day, I know I'm just talking, yeah. but you were spoke on the wheel, bro. If they fire you tomorrow to get somebody else in to write, do, do, do your fucking job right back yep. tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Find out what your niche is. Mm -hmm. Find out what you good at and do it. Guess what I did? I found out a long time ago I'm good at fucking talking. Mm -hmm. Guess what I'm doing? Talking. Talking. <laughs> Talking. We bad speakers fucking podcast. You know what? We all good at this shit. So it is what it is. Let's move on, man. Uh, what y'all want to get into, man? I think we may be good. Are whoopings necessary? How about that? Who? Hmm? Are whoopings. 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 When it comes to whooping your child. Yes. You yes. You should whoop your child. Yeah, we all agree to that. <laughs> I still won't fucking agree with somebody else touching my goddamn kids. I yes, I, I, believe, I agree with whooping. Well, today I gave my son an ass whipping because. Really? Oh, yeah, he what? showed his ass at school. I go pick him and his little goddamn baby brother up. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to leave school, so you do a goddamn bunny hop, cry, fall out on the floor. <laughs> but I can't touch it at school. Yeah. So I, I'm just saying to myself, I, I, I got, got down the old crazy yeah. smile, the Joker smile. Like, yeah, I'm gonna light your ass up. <laughs> boy, so we got in that house, boy. That's that, a real dad. Yeah. That, belt, yeah. that belt came out like Pootie Tang, boy. <laughs> what? 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 I lit him up, boy. Don't ever, di hey, don't ever disrespect me, embarrass me, act like you ain't got no home training. Like, hey, like, come on, he too, but he's smart. Yeah. He know I can't touch him in that motherfucker. So get what? I'm gonna show my ass. I'm gonna show you, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Give me hell right now, but get what? You gotta go home. Yeah. You gotta come to the house, bro. Gotta go you gotta come to the house. Look, man. look, man. I'm like this, man. Maybe it's not have nothing to do with this. I know y'all gonna simply say that. I don't really court, like, court, court, you know, whatever. Look, bro. I see Mo kill it. We just had take off, lose a life, and he a grown ass nigga. I understand, mm. but we see more kids out here toting guns, or anything. I don't know what's going on. Y'all mother, y'all mothers can sit up and say it ain't me. Y'all didn't raise them that way. Well, bitch, who raised them? You know what I'm saying? I see more kids like getting in trouble. Uh, doing we we see it every day on on, on on the shade room. Say cheese academics. More kids doing more. We be like, damn, he went up at sixteen. Like you know, or oh, fifteen or this and that. And I don't know, but I believe personally, and I'm not saying this is factual. Mm -hmm. Kids need their ass whooped, man. Like you gotta feel daddy when we come in that bitch. Mm -hmm. Like from like Martin Lawrence said from the fucking crib. As soon as I walk in the room, nigga, you see daddy. <laughs> like, nigga, I don't give a damn. Like, yeah. even when I got to the age where I could whoop my daddy ass, mm. you still knew that was daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like you just respected him out of respect. Like, that's my dad. Mm -hmm. Like, like I remember when he fucked me up at 16 mm. still. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's 60 now, but I know I could fuck him up at 60, but I ain't gonna get no points for fucking daddy up at 60. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like, like, and 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 I'm gonna be real with you. Some of y'all mothers, kids don't feel mama feel mom like that. When I when I got to 13, y'all probably the same way. Tell me if I'm wrong. I knew I could get away with anything with mama at 13 because she can't do shit with me. Hell, nigga, I thought that from birth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She can't do shit, shit. with me. Like by yeah. the time I got in ninth grade, high school, eighth grade, seventh grade, you knew as a boy. Woman can't do nothing with me. Get what? That lady gonna could try gonna try to if there's a man in the house and she can and it's a, and she can't control that boy. It's because she, I know she, she trying to control that man. Yep. That's the only reason she can't control yep. that boy. The facts now. Yeah. That's facts. She's too busy trying to worry about do I run this relationship instead of do I run my household yep. with my child mm -hmm. in that motherfucker. Yep. Now, yep. for the the woman that doesn't have a man in the house. And they tell you probably out here home or you work. Too <laughs> yeah. It's only yeah. two. It's only two two ways that that child can get out of control. You hoeing or you are working too much. In my mm -hmm. mom's but, case, but, she was working too much. So my mind, I, I was out, out. I could be outside and experience shit I shouldn't be probably experiencing. Right. 
Yeah. But if she didn't work like that, then she probably it's be probably home more to be on my ass. Yeah, yeah. It probably been different. You know what I'm saying? And I had a strict mama pretty much did our way to rape. But like, the focus, you, some uh, along the way, your mom lose focus. Like, like you said. It doesn't mean that she lose focus. Like I, I wasn't scared no more. Like all you can, like once she realized, oh, all you can do is whoop me. But and as a boy, I, you get to that point. Yeah. yeah. As a boy, you get to that point. But then once the you realize this shit, shit ain't, you realize, nigga, you ain't gonna whoop me for all this shit. So yeah, yeah. it's only I know what really certain thing not to do to get you that turned up. Other than that, you just gonna scream or some shit like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. What you what you realized when you was growing up with your parents in the house? Shit, man. I I got like I got doctor. What's what's the name of that movie, Doctor Jekyll, and Mister Hyde? Yeah, it's 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 like it's it really was confusing to me because you know you got one side, Mama Christian. I ain't never let me tell you something, bro. I ain't never heard my mama cuss. He know he ain't <laughs> never. I ain't never heard Janice cuss in in my entire life. It don't matter. I don't did some retarded shit. Never, never just snap under my daddy. Shit. <laughs> Motherfucker right there, boy. But, shit. But that's what I'm saying. Big dummy, all type of goddamn <laughs> shit. But see, but, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You knew the, the fear came from the dad. Yeah. If your dad wasn't tripping, you came in the house, you wouldn't worry about nothing. Yeah. I, 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 I had the fear. Nigga, as a grown man, I still had, like, I didn't want to hear my mama house. Yeah. Guess what? You're, let me tell you about mama's okay. back. back. <laughs> I'm, 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 okay, go ahead. Our yeah. type of mamas cared about being a fucking mama. Right. Yeah. They didn't yeah. care about a hot girl song. Yeah. Right. They didn't care about all um, these city yeah. bitches. They, right. They, they okay. didn't care That's about that. Really they just really cared real, about, you're not too many children raising children. I agree with that. But it's the problem, though, what I'm getting to with the daddy. At a certain age, you realize. Mama so couldn't could. do nothing at certain point. Once yeah. you get to 13, 12, or whatever, yeah. in your mind, you knew mama could do nothing. Your dad still could punch you in your shit. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your dad, if, if he was in the house. I, but that's my point. But y'all know, go ahead. You know, you, but you know what's so crazy, though? It's like, even though I knew I could get over on my mom, I just do whatever. I ain't, it's like, not to say I ain't respected, but it's like, man, I ain't got to have her. Like, I'm, but it's crazy. But even though, but I feared my daddy, but you know what? Anytime I wanted to do some shit, you know who I went to to ask? My fucking daddy, even though I was scared because I know he ain't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead. Yo, dad. Mama gonna question everything. That's my, What's going on? That's my point. You don't want to deal with that see, shit. See, you had a mom. <laughs> you, you didn't want to hear mama mouth. Yeah. But once you got to the age where you knew she can't do nothing, you just started doing shit. But yeah, if your I, daddy I, I, was there, like 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 in the house the whole time, yeah, it'd be there. Nigga, like, it would have been different because I, your daddy was gonna still take it there with you. He gonna go, oh, oh so you feel like you that, huh? Oh, see, so that, I, that what you want? <laughs> Look, I really ain't gonna talk shit, but see, I already knew. Yeah. If I get down those steps, <laughs> you ain't coming all the way down now, so I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gonna yeah. have to call yeah. that phone down, yeah. y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you gonna have to. So why I get your ass up? Like you gotta do some, all that shit. But that's what I'm saying. That gonna show me how serious. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell y'all a true story. And he know I'm not lying. I'm gonna tell you when I knew my mama couldn't tell me nothing else. I was in 10th grade. I'm not going to say no names. I was in 10th grade. And I remember I called my mama. She was like, uh, she was like, you ain't came home? I said, nah. She said, what, you missed the bus or something? I said, nah, I ain't missed the bus. I said, shit, I'm just, I, remember, I, remember. I said, I'm just, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. spending the night with my lady tonight. Get what she say. <laughs> what she, what, what, what she tell her? I remember that. Well, I hope y'all sleeping in a separate room. Get what my daddy said. Danny, you know good and goddamn well what they're doing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And at that point, I was like, shit. shit I don't do that too that. crazy. I really can do what I want. I wish I would have told I read some shit like that. <laughs> I really caught me, goddamn. <laughs> That's when I knew well, I was free, nigga. You could tell me shit after that. Me, I ain't gonna lie, like I ain't gonna lie, y'all know. I ain't trying to touch that. <laughs> my mom always been loose with us, so we always, oh yeah, you always out, out doing shit. Shut up, running at one thirty in the morning. I'm like, nigga, you still out here? You still out here? Yeah, still yeah. Still yeah. Out here? yeah. <laughs> yeah. playing the video game. Yeah. And that thing, you know, nigga, it's a whole nother day. I'm still yeah. like, yeah. like literally, we sitting there playing that yeah. red ass Nintendo sixty four the next morning. All fucking night long, nigga. Just eating up shit, fucking Try up food. Try to tell shit. you, boy. Like the who's out, man. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey man, let, 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 we got one more couple of subjects, man. Let's talk about hater shit, man. What's some trigger words when y'all hear hater shit, man? And I just want to say this because I really just got a lot of shit on my mind. We, I'm really right, exposing what? niggas today. Oh, oh if, if niggas say little to anything, <laughs> you got going on. That's some hate shit. Yeah, but I see, I, but I see that little, that little podcast you're doing, nigga. Ain't shit, little nigga. Tell but him I again. see, but I see you got, but you got that little whip, but that little nigga ain't shit, little my mother. Or, mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, oh, that's it. Well, you know, I used to got down like what? <laughs> fuck you, there, bro. Shut up. Like, bro, like y'all, bro. Watch for them words, man. Watch for them yeah. trigger words when it comes to hater shit, man. Like, like niggas will do you like that to try to try to make it seem like what you got going on is nothing. Like. Like, like, or make it seem like what you doing ain't on they level of some shit. Mm -hmm. Nigga, fuck you, nigga. And mm. you know who you is. Plain or simple. <laughs> We're going to keep that shit exactly right. like that. Like, 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 and, and y'all niggas keep that little shit over there. Because mm -hmm. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. What nobody else doing is little. If you doing some shit that I feel like you leveling up from where you at, you ain't going to hear me say little. If I ever say little, I'm hating on you. And call me out on it. Call me out on it, like bro, don't don't like like shout out my nigga Buck, man, my nigga Buck Rod, tatted like a fool on Instagram, mm -hmm. cause he he had to straighten me one day about me calling some shit that I was doing little, mm -hmm. and I was like, boy, you know what you right, boy, but don't never ever question what you don't ever put that shit in front of none that you doing. Mm -hmm. I was like, boy, that's some real shit, but that's a real nigga to even tell me that about myself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because yeah. we sit up and belittle ourselves about shit, man. Yeah. I know I'm rambling, yeah. but 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 look here, man. Y'all keep that shit over there, man. Like I ain't sitting up there knocking nobody else shit or none of that shit. Like, and, and let me say this shit too, cause my nigga had to put the battery on back, man. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all niggas know where I came from. Like a lot of y'all niggas who, who who's from around the way know where I fuck I came from. We came from nothing, nothing at all. Like, ain't have shit, nothing. I'm still out here working. Facts before, and coming doing this shit. Like, so don't sit up and try to act like a nigga, goddamn, think he better than somebody or doing more than somebody, none of that shit. Cause I'm just trying some shit that y'all nigga was scared to do. To be real. True My story. Line? True story. No. Like, y'all just scared to do this shit. Y'all niggas just mad, bro. Y'all niggas just mad. You can say what you want to say. And, and if you think, bro, this, we, we, this on camera. You think I ain't going to say it to your face, you got shit fucked up because we ain't no little boys. You know what I'm saying? Feel however you want to feel. Nigga, we just trying to do some shit. And whatever you doing, I'm going to salute you when you do it. And, ooh, and guess what? The main thing, we're not putting no address on this shit. Because guess what? It don't even, hey, if you come up with fake doubt and you know you really don't fuck with a nigga, don't come up to a nigga. Cause this, yeah. that, that, again, and I hope that hit whoever it needs to hit. Ooh, facts. Mm -hmm. But I'm not telling you who you are, but you know if you really fuck with a nigga for real. And you know if you didn't. And you, and so, hey, nigga, keep that. Stuff. Look, y'all, if y'all don't know, we are bad fucking speakers. You know what I'm saying? The podcast of the everyday man. And I'm going to leave it at this, man. It's your boy, Shaw. It's your boy, G Downs. It's your nigga, Skeet. And, and we're we going to get up out of here.